And then I see three ladies approach her oh, trying, no. trying to sell her something. And she's like, no, get off me. In about half an hour, we get back to the villa. She goes, oh, shit, where's my phone? And I look at her and I said, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ship Life, the show that's dedicated to raising awareness of working on cruise ships, mm -hmm. uh, the opportunity of working on cruise ships, and helping new and existing crew have an enjoyable experience. We're joined by Lexter. Have you gotten that one before? That is a, a like new that variation. <laughs> it's a new permutation, actually. There you go. Right? We're joined All by Lexter. Lexter. Lisa. Oh, just oh, she is gonna... <laughs> No, she just gets the regular one because yeah, she's Lisa. not on the same couch as I am. Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, I she's prefer more Lisa Jean. Yeah. More, but... <laughs> more refined. Lisa okay, John. Miss... Lisa John. There we go. I'll go by Lisa John tonight. Yeah. yeah. Lisa John. Yes. And. Carlota. Oh, there we go. Oh, excuse up. me. Ooh, did you put the subtitles on? I did. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, the Spanish subtitles. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. At the Carlotta? bottom, it'll say Charlotte. <laughs> oh, yes. No. <laughs> Charlotte is another name. There's Charlotte, Carlota, Carly, Car Carlita. Different names. All right, you got it. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Today, we are talking about, uh, we're, we're doing a little bit of um, story time, and we're going to be telling some stories from cruise ships and so on. We've been having some hot sauce, as you yes. can see. Hot sauce. Sauce. <laughs> but um, I think to kick things off, I wanted to share one of my, one of my favorite stories uh, working on cruise ships. And um, this happened in Bali. Ooh, ooh, I love Bali. Bali, Please continue. Bali is an amazing so place. Amazing. And there's a lot of little towns in Bali. Um, but there, what's interesting about Bali is that you have to take a tender boat. Um, and you're pretty, you're actually pretty far out. Which ship did you? Oh, yeah. wait, sorry. You were on a bigger ship, though. No, I was on a small ship. You were on a small ship and you had a tender? tender? That's right. Oh, that's interesting. I was on, well, I was on we, were, we were on different lines that are kind of like sisters yeah. together. So I'm not Sorry surprised. to steal your story. I don't know if, yeah. I, if I'm allowed to say what company, but I'm not going to say it. But It's fine. Yeah. Um, I was on Celebrity Millennium. <gasps> it still is probably bigger than I heard so many yeah. scary stories from Millennium. No? Uh, like, you want to know a scary story? Uh -oh. I'm going to tell you one right now. Story. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. So, all anyway, right. you're in Bali and yeah, you're tendering yeah. in. That's right. Yeah. So, um, uh, we had been talking about getting a villa um, over there and it was going to be an overnight. Mm -hmm. So, we wanted to make it a grand time because we had already done this in Kobe um, and in Pattaya. So, we're oh, like, Oh, nice. Right? I love Pattaya. Pattaya oh, is great. Those oh, lamb shebang yeah. sport. Right? Yes. That's yeah. right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So many good memories. Lame shebang. <laughs> yeah, it's called lame shebang. <laughs> but okay, so in this port we were we're talking with some friends, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a villa and we're gonna and then we're gonna find a club and we're gonna go out. And I thought to myself, all right, well uh, I did the whole Google thing and I looked up where um, the villa was gonna be and I looked up all of the different places. Mm -hmm. Long story short when I, when I got on port, first of all, um, when I went on port, it was during the daytime and I was mailing a letter to my girlfriend at the time. Ooh. 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 Was this, what was it, Scarlota? <laughs> <laughs> Mira, let's yeah, it was <laughs> Scarlota. <laughs> Scarlota. <laughs> so um, I was mailing a letter, but what I wanted to do when I was out there during the daytime, it was like 12, one o'clock, um, right? There was a post office right uh, on the port. Musician morning time. That's mm -hmm. right. Musician morning time. Because <laughs> uh, I had just woken up and yeah. I figured, you know what? I want to be able to travel freely. I don't want to pay for a taxi. Mm -hmm. So I start talking to all the locals saying, hey, how can I get 
I need a scooter. Mm-hmm. Give me a scooter. You, give me a scooter. You, give me a scooter. And eventually I met a guy who was like, I can get you a scooter. And I said, take me, take me to your scooter. He walks me over <laughs> take to the me to your scooter. Take me to your scooter. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. so he walks me to the parking lot and he was, and, and he wheels his scooter over to me and he's like, um, I'll let you rent this from me for 40 bucks for mm. the day. 40? Wow, he was charging you a lot. Yeah, for I know. Lot. I, 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 learned that, I learned that afterwards. Oh, okay, okay. But it's you get sorry, back on and you're like, I, I, I got this scooter go for your, forty yeah. bucks. Go back to your, go <laughs> yeah. back to your scooter. I was thinking, I was thinking more flag. along the lines of like, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, you know, like it's like whatever, like American prices. Yeah. Very noob thing to do. Regardless, don't do that. Yeah, don't don't do that. Um, yeah, everything's way cheaper. Always different. barter. Yeah, always. By a quarter, start a quarter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, my Bali scooter cost me, I think, five dollars for the Damn. entire day. Damn, oh, I way overpaid. So all of you, ask around. Ask around. And they say also no have an app. Form. Just get the app, grab, and then you can. It's like Uber. Yeah, what? That's, what? Yeah, grab I didn't is just hear like Uber. This. Yeah. Yeah. I did grab in in it's Pattaya. Great. Yeah. At like four in the morning. Yeah. To get I'm back pretty to the sure ship. it's in like <laughs> wow. the majority of Asia as well. I yeah. never heard so of this. Very popular in Asia. Select countries not mm-hmm. using it. Yeah. Are you interested in learning the seven alarming things that cruise ship contracts are hiding in the fine print? Go to shiplifetv.com slash contract secrets and find out for free. Because one of the biggest problems that I see with new hires is that they don't know what they're signing up for. And they show up on day one and they're expected to know everything that's in a six page legal contract. So go to shiplifetv.com slash contract secrets to watch almost an hour's worth of free content where I break down a six page contract and you can learn everything that you need to about vacation, schedule, pay, overtime, benefits, and so much more. That's shiplifetv.com slash contract secrets to become a member of the Ship Life TV community and get free access to the crew library. Now back to the video. So yeah, I got this $40 uh, scooter and he was he was like, here, I got two helmets and go go for it. I'll just need to take a picture of your ID. That's when I got a little sketched out. Oh yeah. I was like, wait, you're gonna take a picture of my ID? I mean, right. I'm sure as collateral, but like, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. but I get it, it's you know, like I'm, I'm mean, doing, within reason. I'm that. exchanging yeah. business with a person, person that you met on the street exactly. yeah, who's giving you a scooter. Right. And he just handed me <laughs> yeah. his keys. I, yeah, I could have drove a scooter onto the tender boat. <laughs> <if I> wanted, <laughs> yeah. You know, you if you have anything. your ID, no, then... of course I didn't sign anything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to sign things. Hey, I don't sign uh, things. He took advantage of someone and he is a smart man for the day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could take advantage of him. But yeah, but you didn't. Anyway, yeah, nice that's person. right. I didn't. Anyway, mm. so I, I got the scooter and I started riding around the parking lot. And uh, this is when I was in a duo with a uh, good friend, Lacey. And, um, and then she ended up there and we started hanging out. I was like, dude, check out my scooter. I'm like riding around the parking lot. Uh. Anyway. So then had to get up back on the boat because I had to do something back on the ship. We head back out, all of us together. Wait, now. you brought the No, 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 I didn't bring it. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> no. how did you get he rolled that on up security's security there like, yeah, 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 come on through. Yeah, no, I just, I just I just packed the scooter in my backpack, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that anyway, makes sense. So now it's evening and I grab the scooter and we're all headed back to to the villa. So we all mm. needed the villa. Um, but the thing is I had to kill some time because there were there was obviously time before like it was like six six thirty. We weren't gonna go out till like eleven. When everybody finishes their shift. Exactly yeah. that, and you know we're not gonna be the first ones at the club. Mm. That's super lame. So now I'm lame. freaking I'm driving around Bali by myself on a scooter. In that area, in you're that not area. used to that kind of like way of traffic. D- that traffic. I mean, was, that's like do or die crazy. at that point. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's that's like. Believe me, I do. War, man. Yeah. Is it like everybody next to each other? Just like oh, oh no like, one well, next to you, anyone. It's just like if, if there's, there's anybody who knows, it would be you it's, 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 because yeah. the traffic so like, is just like that oh. in your city in La Ceiba. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm driving around and I drive up to um, Den Pasar. If you guys know where that is, that's like. Um, if, if you guys kind of think about it as like a big island, where we were was on the bottom part of the island. Mm-hmm. Den Pasar mm-hmm. is on like the western side of the island. Okay. I right? think I might know where, more or less, where you're talking about. There's a resort there. 
Okay, because it sounds familiar to me. When I was in Bali, I didn't go there, but it, like, I remember the name. Yeah, there's Denpasar, yeah. there's Ubud. There's a couple different places. Ubud, yeah. And anyway, so, somebody was telling me about this resort. I was like, this resort sounds dope. So I drive up there on my own mm -hmm. to meet like a couple other friends. It was cool. But that resort was also like half an hour away. The other thing, mind you, is I'm trying to navigate on my phone. Yeah. Because oh. I, I've got the little chip. Problem is, um, I'm not that good at trying to navigate while I'm in a foreign country while I'm on a scooter. And you can't read what? the signs. Are you <laughs> sure? <laughs> yeah. That seems like it would be really easy. So there was this I mean, point where I'm like driving up and okay, it's like, you know, the sun's going down and I'm driving on the road and it's super sketch. And um, I, I had to pull over. I'm taking my shoes up. I had to pull over just to look at what the map said and this, this, and this. I get there. I hang out for maybe like 45 minutes. Things were kind of lame over there. It was just... Yeah, whatever. All right, I'm gonna go back because it starts. It, it looks like it's gonna start raining, mm. and it started raining. No, no. <laughs> and now it's Good call, raining. Good Ripley. I don't have. I'm not dressed for this. <laughs> and it. So anyway, there's a bunch of oh, traffic. And the, the, yeah, driving in that if you're not used to it. Exactly. Too. Mm. Oh, exactly. Man. And so. I crashed on this bike three times. Oh no. What? Yeah. So <laughs> okay. what the first time I crashed on it was just because I'm just not used to the weight distribution. Because uh -huh. this was not a bike made for a 5'4 Filipino man. Huh. You know, this was yeah. made for a this guy looked about 5'7, you know, and like he had a decent build. And, you know, he was able to handle the bike. Okay. So. I was not. Anyway, <laughs> I fell over a couple times. And then the other time, as it started I raining, myself if I see that. <laughs> it started raining a lot <laughs> more. <laughs> and when it started raining more, well, I wasn't prepared for it. So I started slipping and sliding around. Oh, oh, and I man. thought, you know, I'm going to do what all the other people are doing. They're riding on the sidewalk. I'm going to ride on the sidewalk, oh, too. Yeah, I mean, so yeah. I start riding on the sidewalk. Yeah. And there's these dips it's and stuff bumpy, like that. Man. Not only is it super bumpy, but there are some parts where it's actually kind of slick because it's in front of the retail stores. Oh. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I almost okay. get into accidents, blah, 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 blah. Why is it more slick outside of the retail stores? They take um, care of because it. they have the... They take care of it, but but sometimes they have the type of pavement where it's like, um, it's not. Is this like, like the, the wheelchairs and stuff can like catch yeah, on? Don't you think not necessarily. That they would want it to be less slick outside. But they want it to look nice. Okay. So yeah. like, it's aesthetic done, like, the, over it's, safety. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 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 I mean, we have you never been to a tourist, crew party? You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So after I slip and slide around the town. Mm -hmm. um, I end up making it to McDonald's, which is great because that's where I lost my debit card. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah. So I lost my debit card over there. Um, it was worth it. I got a Big Mac. It was great. Um, after that, was wait, you lost it Big before Mac. or after you pay for it? After. Uh -huh. That's okay. yeah. I got the Big Mac, and then I didn't realize that I left my debit card there. And um, yeah, you're never getting there. that back. Yeah, no, definitely mm -hmm. not. And no. I called my bank. I didn't call them. I, I went online, but you know, same thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. I filed it as lost. And then we got to the villa. Villa, we're pre-partying. It was awesome. There was a pool there. It was amazing. Yeah. And then we're like, okay, now it's about like 1130. We're ready to go. Ready to go. Because um, we had been pre-gaming for like two hours. And so we start walking That's down. That's extensive pre-gaming. That is extensive Yeah, that is. Two hours I'm pre-gaming like, is a lot of pre-gaming. Two hours and I'm ready for bed. Yeah. That's why like you're not yeah. going to get to the game anymore. <laughs> no, but we, you know, we. But we, you're in Bali but for one night is, probably. What I will yeah. say, yeah. when you're pre-gaming with like eight to ten people, because we also invited other people. Um, Different departments. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like come by, we got a villa. All of the, uh, you know, like even though they're not staying there. Anyway, yeah, so like there's like hang party. Yeah. We're all in this together. Exactly. And you tell them the plan, like we're going to go to this club later. So they're, they're just like, yeah, sure. We'll meet you there. Or well, at, at the villa. Anyway, we start walking down to the, toward the villa. Uh, uh, the, the, the club, we start going down to the club. Club is great. We do our thing at the club. Now it's like two 30 in the morning, three o'clock. We're walking back out. Nothing good happens after. And my my duo partner, yeah. yes, nothing good happens after two o'clock. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who are saying, what do you mean nothing good happens after two o'clock? You're way too young. You're <laughs> way too young. 
You're did to say in that. Trouble. Yes. Yeah. You see, yeah, you're still getting There's in trouble. That's right. Just also know. like really think back to when you stayed up past two and reflect, and you'll realize that nothing good happens after two. It's right. Yep. It's right. It's, it's either it's super totally lame or you're going to be in a lot of trouble that you it won't even be a fun story to tell. So my du- my <laughs> dual partner, my dual partner at the time. So she when she went to the club, she was wearing a skirt with. And here's the thing about women's clothing is that the pockets are They're very small, non-existent. Yeah, and I don't yeah, understand it. Like why they why they can't just put regular pockets for women. But anyway, so I mean, aesthetics I don't get over it. safety. That's right. That uh, I totally forgot. Over function in this yeah. case. I mean, safety is one thing, but function is well, another thing. Well, we can't thing. keep our phones on us. That's like half safe there. Well, th- yeah. This is exactly where this is going. Point. Oh, sorry. Continue. But, <laughs> nice segue. You're welcome. So um, <laughs> again, on purpose. Here's what happened. Right at Imagine the end of the segue. evening, she's not having a very good evening, yeah, really and scripted. she's yeah. walking <laughs> upset. And we're all like not in a very good mood because we're trying to find our friends at this point. Right. You know, at yeah. the end of the evening, yeah. where you, you get yeah. out of the club Everyone's and you're like, what are you doing? Wasted. And like, where the fuck is everybody? I don't know what's uh, going on right now. You're Everybody's still on the scooter? Mad. No, no, no. The scooter's okay. at the villa right now. Oh, okay, we just okay. finished at the we just finished at the club. Okay. At like three in the morning. Mm-hmm. Now everybody's kind of like dead really. and and irritated at this point. Yeah, it is a kind of early for, yeah. for there. But, you know, we've been pre-gaming for a while. So I oh, think- so for you guys, it's not early. It's, yeah, yeah I get it. Yeah. Anyway, so we're walking, I and I dead. noticed that Lacey, I dead. Um, <laughs> she, when we're walking, we, uh, I noticed her phone is, like, sticking out of her pocket. Uh-oh. Right? Oh, and, and this is just leaving the club? This is just leaving the oh, club. Oh, that's, like, so prime here's the thing. time. So I look at her phone, and I'm like, give me your phone. Because you cannot have your phone oh. just sticking out. Big brother. That's right. And so I grab her phone and I put it in my pocket. We're walking. She's still looking for our friend named Aaron. And then so she goes, let me call Aaron. And I'm like, all right, here, I hand her the phone. And then I can't remember what it was, but, you know, she was doing her thing. And we had gotten into a lot of, like, little arguments um, during the contract. So something happened and I was really irritated with her. Mm. And so I was like, well, you go do your thing, whatever, I'm done. So I walk up like a block ahead, half a block ahead. And as I'm looking back, I see her walking. And then I see three um, ladies approach her. Oh, trying, no. to, trying to sell her something. One of them that's had a baby. The worst. No, that's the worst, man. You, you see where this is going. Yeah. Anyway, so they start bothering her. And she's like, no, get off me. And then she keeps walking. I'm like. And I look back and I'm like, oh, oh she looks like she's all right. Around. Oh, mm-hmm. no. Turn. Long story short, in about half an hour, we get back to the villa. She goes, Where, where's my phone? <sighs> and I'm like, I don't know. I give it to you. And I'm already irritated with her. Mm. And she goes, oh, shit, where's my phone? And I look at her and I said... <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, no. And she goes, yeah, that's exactly what happened. She yeah. goes, no. Yeah. She's like totally defeated at this point. She knew. She knew. Yeah. Absolutely. And so what happened was they used up. the baby as a distraction. Yeah. And mm-hmm. she said that one of the one of the ladies grabbed her wrist. No. That's another point of oh, distraction. Oh, yeah. Because no. you're. No. Yep. Yeah. Because now right? your attention is I feel like we're wrist. dissecting exactly. like now you right. see me. And then whatever. while the other, you know, while one has the baby, <laughs> the other one has the wrist, the other one slips in. Grabs the valuable, and then they all just get away and they pretend like they're trying to sell you something. Yeah. And while you're distracted on like eight thousand different things happening at the same time, now your phone's gone. Sensory yep. overload. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they target Americans a lot, though. Well, because f- like Latinos, we're so used to just. Like yeah. Everything like yeah, this, yeah. And just watch everything in its like pockets. Any and if anybody even tries yeah. to touch yeah. it, yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, oh. People from yeah. the US. They probably as well. figured, like, oh, hey, let, let's get that white girl. Well, it's anybody who looks <laughs> yeah, like an easy nice. target. Yeah. If you, if yeah. You look, She's definitely an easy target. If you yeah. look like a, if you look like an easy target, then you're going to be one. Yeah. So. And even if you don't, you're probably going to be one. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter because you're looking like one. Yeah. And if it's after club hours, everybody knows. If you yeah. walk around with stuff hanging out of your pocket, so like, okay, 
We got this. Keep that stuff locked down. That's right. Keep yeah. it locked down. That's, so... that, that's, that's, that's the tip there. Keep everything locked down. Locked down. Women. Don't be dumb. Don't. I was going to say don't be dumb. I was going to say don't be dumb before you said the women thing. Wait, wait. I was sorry. I was going to say that before that. I was going to say don't be dumb just in general. Yes. I say everyone that don't be dumb. <laughs> because there are enough dumb people on all of those sides. Great timing, babe. Be smart. For him, yeah. <laughs> Women, please be smart. Uh, yeah, okay. Especially gonna, because of the. Pockets. I'm gonna get all the terrible comments I'm now. I'm to help you. <laughs> I know. I'm, you, I'm not <laughs> saying you're not. I'm just saying, yeah. you know. Is so, adding it. so that was that was one of my interesting stories. Um, you know, the whole scooter situation, and then being in an awesome villa, and then you know going to a club, and then the whole evening just being completely ruined because, you know, like. Uh, being in a duo, your duo partner is like your best friend on the ship. Mm. And then her for mood- better For better or for worse. For better or for worse, yeah. absolutely. You carry then, all of their problems. Her mood just completely changed <laughs> for the evening. Mm. And so- That's gonna affect the night. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that just killed the rest of the evening. So, and because mm. two of the, the, I think it was like six or seven people staying in that villa that's like one third of the entire group. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, then everybody just went to sleep as soon as we got back. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, so it just killed everything. I've definitely so... been that person before, am... which is really, I'm sorry to admit. How <laughs> yeah. dare you do that to Jordan? I, I'm kidding. I know. It's really awful. I do apologize. It's okay. I accept your apology. <laughs> well, being that I know who you're talking about, I. I can understand. I can actually see this situation. Well, let's give some background real quick to the people who don't <laughs> really know is that so Lex was the bass player for the jazz quartet that had the same singer that I was in the duo in. Does that make am I am I yeah, saying okay. am I saying words okay. properly? But yes. Well, you okay. have to explain You're a little more drunk. than that. Like I left the group and you came in after me. Right. Because I did the solo musician thing well, and that's when you came in. Right. Because when I eventually met all of you guys again, you were in the duo at that time. Because then I came right. back. That's because right. you had like some that's kind of That's why like, you were a soloist? Soloist. I met soloist. you <laughs> originally well. when I was a soloist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not not to be confused with soloist. I was a soloist when I met you. Ah, yes. Those are the But best. then eventually I became Those a soloist in religions? that contract. Yes, it's the religion of the ship. Soulism? Yes. 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 So, yes. Well, it's Carrying it's the soul really funny because the band's name was Solstice. Yeah. So and the ship's cool. name was Solstice. Yeah. Oh. I was like, whoa. All this stuff. You know what's funny is that, is that <laughs> ever, a lot of people, because I was in Solstice, on Solstice as well, mm. and a lot of the officers, when they would when they would hear the name, they would be like, oh, Solstice like the ship. I'm Greek. I am Greek. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's everyone on the celebrity, all the officers yeah. are Greek. Ah, oh, I am Greek, I am Greek. Yeah. Ah <laughs> they're only stereotypes because they're true. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, whatever anybody wants to say, they should be in that environment and then they'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, that's, that's my, that's one of the many stories. <laughs> well, you, you said you've been to Bali, yeah? Yeah. And, and you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've never been to Bali. Not yet. Not she yet. hasn't given like a story and yeah. she hasn't given a story. So I'm not going to talk about my Bali experience because it's the talking stick is on that couch now. Talking stick. Talking Turns stick. Into, talking cup. Do you want to tell your story first or shall no, I? You go ahead. Mine kind of sucks. I mean, it's kind of similar to your Bali story, I feel, where we went out on um, a group of us. We got a private villa that had like three bedrooms i think and it slept uh, six and we split it and it was like twenty dollars each is what it came to or something yeah. for the night and that's had its tourist own, prices I, too i know right that's yeah still amazing. It, i know and it had its own private pool and mm. a like outdoor kitchen it was lovely and we spent hardly any time in it because our incredible cruise director had a whole tour planned for the entire cast and like sent us out and we went to Monkey Forest and had like all the oh, monkeys crawl around. Oh, you went to Monkey, monkey Sanctuary. Yeah, and was, yeah, oh, it was awesome so good. Place. 
and it's an Ubud. It was yeah, absolutely. And then we went to this incredible vegan restaurant as well, and our dancers got engaged. They went to the Whoa. rice patties and got engaged. Oh, nice. It was really fun. And like all of them? No, it was just we were a very tiny ship. They just felt so inspired. We were a cast of six, and we only had two dancers and four Mm. singers. Um, Mm. Very tiny. So yeah, they went off on their own while we were at the restaurant, and we knew what was happening. And they came back, and she was like, "We got engaged," and we're like, "We know." (laughs) But she's um, like, "Why did you tell me?" Yeah, exactly. And then we went to a club later that night as well. We went to Mexicola. I don't know if. You remember the remember club that, that you went always. to? That's all right. You probably did it the right way. I shouldn't remember what the <laughs> name is. Um, that was my first mistake. Then we went back to the villa and then I woke up the next day. And that's sure. what led into my um, cruise director day. That story. Oh. Um, when I had to immediately take over as cruise director for Speaking an emergency. Speaking of which, if you guys don't know what story she's talking about, check out the podcast that I did with Lisa John. Yes. <laughs> um... <laughs> We'll link it up. If I don't remember the link, just it, it'll be somewhere. Yeah, you know, Lisa Gianni. Yeah, Gianni John. Gianni John. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. The French. Lisa, way. Lisa. Lisa. Yes. Can Lisa Gianni. Lisa with an S. <laughs> That's my story like, about wait, Bali. <laughs> where does the S go? Okay, so your story doesn't involve much of like embarrassment. Oh, that was it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Jordan went through a whole long process. My story was like If we're going for embarrassing, embarrassing stories, no, I didn't embarrass myself in Bali, so I don't have a story smart. for Bali. Okay, well, so, no, I've so embarrassed let's, myself. Let's before. move to a, a region where you did feel that way cuz then we would be know fair. If I Let me start an agreement places. for this. Greece. Uh, no, I was smart there. <laughs> Okay. Um, no, okay. Spain. So I have some stories where <laughs> Barcelona. <laughs> well, Ibiza. Oh, for you, Ibiza. Ibiza. <laughs> yeah. All of you, Espanol. That was that was a wild day. Um, that's some incriminating stories, though. I don't okay. feel comfortable don't sharing those. Names. But I will tell a story about but Rio. You, let's go. Um, during Carnival, that oh, was. Florida. The best time. What? He loves Florida. Oh, you love Florida? (laughs) Carnival. Um, Yes, no. So that was the best time ever because it was the end of our install cruise. We had just joined, so we were fresh and super energetic. We finished that. This yes. one, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think I died like five times, nice. and my liver is probably on its sixth life now <laughs> because of those cool. four so days. Like we had more. five days in Rio, and oh, it, so, so cool. overnights for that. It was the end of our install cruise, and the next cruise that was joining was an Atlantis cruise. Oh, yes. oh. Yes. Yes. anything. Oh, yeah, wow. so they they bring on usually their own entertainment, which they did during this. Mm-hmm. And it was four days to start off the cruise in Hang Rio. On. Before, before yes. you dive deeper, for those that are listening who don't know what an, an Atlantis cruise yes. is. That's the best cruise ever. The best cruise ever. <laughs> what is an Atlantis cruise? Uh, okay, okay, you guys say best cruise ever. I have bad experiences with oh, the Atlantis you guys cruise. I mean, well, yeah, <laughs> like borderline. <laughs> okay, let's twice. just here. Let's let's clear the oh, water right, first, right, so right, then right, we right. can like talk about yeah, what yeah, it okay. is. Then, Atlantis yeah, Cruise sorry. is a chartered voyage with a company that is run by the. Well, I don't know if it is officially the LGBTQ community, but people who like to celebrate the community and every person under the umbrella and rainbow mm. can. Mm join this voyage rainbow cruise and most, they have the theme time. nights it's yeah. basically just a voyage to incredible locations where you are excused to get shit faced oh, and yes. wear next to nothing and dance mm-hmm. and enjoy a cruise oh. ship god i've never seen any group of people party harder oh, than yeah. the atlantis cruise people yeah. i still remember like the the captain saying hello guests and 23 or 26 women out of like a guess of like a thousand. Oh, Damn. we only oh. had like two women, maybe even one or two women, but one of them was one of the entertainers on our voyage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so it's wild. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm sorry, continue. Yeah. No, continue. anyway, yeah. so um, Atlantis was chartering the voyage and it started off in Rio during Carnival. 
we Goodness had reserved tickets ahead of time while we were in rehearsals because we knew we were going to be there. And, you know, no one can party like a Brazilian because <laughs> they, I swear, the streets were packed at 9 a.m. And they were packed like the walking dead, a horde of zombies of people who were either still drunk from the night before or starting off right away or in a combination of an entire week of or this entire process. recovering by drinking by more. By drinking more, eh, whatever, yeah. yeah. And they go until 5 a.m. that night morning, go back to take a short little nap and start all over again. And then go to this massive parade that's like the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade meets Broadway meets Bollywood. And <laughs> it's down this wow. stretch and there are like fountains and droids flying through the air carrying like magic carpets. And it's incredible. It's incredible. It was incredible. Like and my Star liver Wars broke after the parade. <laughs> People were climbing on top of buses and trees and like just streets were packed. People, people were selling dreams yes that's a <laughs> lot of um questionable things not me i didn't see any of it uh, that's not me just like I don't know what holding about. back myself it truly really wasn't i'm i was like <laughs> off just, dancing uh, um <laughs> but <laughs> buying a beer from a cart i don't know um but yeah it was wild wild streets and then we would wake up and start all over again the next day because it was an overnight wow. that was great oh, i want to so experience fun. that one day yeah me too your well, your your town has one. Oh, the, I mean, but like, yeah, but know. not like that though. Yeah, like every every corner has a a little stage where you can just dance and walk with your beer and. You you don't have like a full on parade that goes through oh, all of everywhere. Oh, we do, but okay. not that big though. It's we, insane. We, we still have yeah. like little cars going and mm -hmm. throwing stuff and stuff, but. The floats for it like, a whole it's week. Insane. Sorry to take over. Cuba has, has something like that too. Carnaval. It's just in different times. Uh, I, I I still wish I could go to Cuba. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, wow. everything is changing now. There? Not yet. Uh, the the freaking ship started just going over there the the week before I signed off. Ah. Uh, and I was like, why? Mm. <laughs> That's my dream country. Yeah. One of my dream country. All right. Well, it's your turn. You yeah. gotta tell oh. us a story. Uh, okay, since we're go doing like sleepovers and stuff. Uh, first contract in Istanbul. Sleepover. Ooh. Nice. It that was, was back when Celebrity cool. went to yeah, Istanbul. Yeah, it was reflection. And that was, it was oh, awesome. Yeah. Were we on that contract together? Because I was there when they stopped. Yeah, I was ending, I was ending my, my contract when you came up. Okay, so the, yeah, so, so the, we, we were we there met, on the, yeah, yeah, we were on the same contract then yeah. for that one. Yeah. Did you have this overnight? Yeah, Did I remember it saying, oh, I'm going to go to this place the next time we're here. And then it was and canceled. Then, yeah, we, so oh. that's, what, what, they, that's they what I'm have, saying. Like, like she's saying that. Thing there, yeah, there was, was like a coup, I think, yeah. that happened. That's another lesson. Well, that that happened actually just, during reflection. When in Turkey? Yeah, for me, it was in reflection. Right. Yeah. Was, but she's talking about her first contract, mm. which she's was also reflection. reflection. Yeah, it was also. It was reflection twice. No, but, but I met her. I met no, her no, on no, reflection. But yeah, no, I get it. But what I'm saying not is, the same contract your, your first contract was 2015. Oh, that was before my contract. Uh, yeah. Oh, what yeah, I'm saying right. is, I, I remember that coup twice. in in Turkey because I was helping you sell extra, and I was trying to give you tips because. That's the, because right. th they were charging the EU tax. Mm. Yes, because we were skipping because, it. Because since you were skipping Turkey, then it was all European Okay, then ports. yeah, it was my second contract on Reflection, but it's still the end of that contract mm. where I met you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But like my first contract, we went to Istanbul for overnight. We got a little like, uh, not hotel, like, uh, you know, like Airbnb there. Mm -hmm with uh, four four rooms and then the whole team not the whole team but we all went most of us went and the idea was to just go out to clubs and just party all night yeah but <laughs> the manager we had back then what a good idea she mm -hmm. knew that we were going out oh. and she scheduled us 
for a meeting <gasps> at eight o'clock. Oh. And we already rented the place. What? Ooh, the I have a story after this. Yes. that rhymes with which? <laughs> mm. Oh. Kind of, she was kind of like. Well, yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that is a, lot. a horrible thing. I mean, yeah. it's, 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 it's I'm saying it that, is, you know? but if you're it's talking rude. about, if you're watching this because you want to work on a ship, it happens. That's, I mean, yeah. I'm not outside of any kind of reason to say something like that because that happens all the time. Yeah. yeah. So what did you do? Did you still go out and party and just show up at 8 a.m.? So we kind of got invited. <laughs> That's what I would do. Yeah, we went, I would do that too. There was the tea. one who just relaxed in the hotel. <laughs> mm. And then we just considered them like the party poopers. Yeah. And then yeah. there no. were just three of us. Me, another, another girlfriend, and another guy friend. We just went to the clubs and we were trying to bar hops. Nice. But we got to this club and they were charging, you know, they, they bring the peanuts and they bring the, like the ice water mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we thought that was courtesy. But they were charging for it. They charge for oh. every single thing, even the napkin. Oh, even the napkin. So wow. in the end, oh. we had, like, this, this is sounding like Cuba. Jeez, they'll charge you for toilet paper over there. <laughs> Basically for the air. That's crazy. Wow. So like we, we were just, we just, okay. And then, well, how much was it? It was almost like a hundred dollars. Okay, yeah. Well, like for all of you together, or each. For all of us together, but still, where it was, it was. Well, you something, weren't expecting it. Yeah, yeah, it was something yeah, yeah. Like not expecting. Not that's it. a lot. Yeah. And so, oh, and they charged a the freaking table as well. I remember that. They went European uh, on you and charged you for yeah, sitting at a table you for the table. Thing. Damn. So after that, we kind of like, we were, we were done and then we just started walking and then we got lost and then this, Naturally. Uh, there was this two Turkish guys or they were following us mm. and that was just like, that sounds okay, pleasant. I'm done. I'm, I'm mm, ready yeah. to go. Just, yeah. So it, it was just, it just went like this really fast. That sucks. That's unfortunate. Yeah. 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 And then. At eight, like wake up before that. Because oh, we had to go, yeah. We had well, to what time did all eight. of this kind of like? What when did you get back to it, the hotel, Airbnb? When we finally got back, it was around two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we started walking around. And how long left, of a travel like, to the ship was it from well, the Airbnb? Like an hour. Oh. oh, you were deep in there then. An hour? So you have to leave like 6.30 at the latest yep. if you want to be early. And clean up and ready for that. To thing. wash off yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the shame of the night before. Yep. <laughs> yeah, or the like the anger the of having to return at 8 a.m. Yeah. 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 So you can have some stupid meeting on are we stock on meeting. these things? I'm just. Did you learn anything? Um, yeah, just put the pictures there. Go like that. Okay, well, that was a productive oh, that, meeting then. Uh, yeah. Perfect. I had a, some, can I, sorry. That was okay. Jump, uh, that was... Jumping on board. I know, I feel like I'm like... Poof! <laughs> 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 okay, here's my story. Um, so, three out of my four contracts, I had dry docks. Nice! Um, That's exciting. <laughs> no, that cool? That's pretty cool. I always wonder... Were we on cool. one together? Uh, yes, Regatta. Because you guys, this is the one yeah, that I'm Regatta. talking about. This is yeah, the story. They had a whole, yeah, okay. So we're on dry dock, and this yeah. is my second contract. We're on dry dock. Before, you, before you dive in, for those that don't know, yes. dry dock. What's Above a dry dock? Table. Is there going to be like a Where picture? Because I've never been on a dry dock before. Oh. No. Yeah. Okay. No way. Okay. Here we so go. I, I know generally what it is, but <laughs> give me the deets. Basically, what happens is the ship is taken into a little slot and then they close up the uh, back gate, kind of like the Panama Canal, how they have the little locks and everything. They close it up and drain out all the water so the ship is stable there on this little track floating in oh, so a dry, dry dock. dock. Yes. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I get it Whoa. now. It all makes Man. sense. Man, <laughs> you're, you're, I was gonna make a dry humor joke. I failed, continue. Oh. Okay. Well, if it comes back, jump on in. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, right, so right, um, continuing on. We are in Vancouver. Uh, dry docks can happen everywhere. 
I think there are some famous ones. I know like a lot of ships are built in Germany, I think. So yeah. there's like a bunch of, anyway, not the point. I digress. Vancouver, uh-huh. we are there for three days and with dry dock, they usually turn off all of the power to the ship because they are dealing with power things. In this case, I think our ship was getting like a new electrical engine thing. Something yeah, it was updated. an engine thing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. they turned off all the power. There was no AC. People were doing fire crew oh, watch shit. duties, but the entertainment team didn't get any of the slots. So we didn't have anything for three days. And we we're like, well. No power. No power. Oh, we can't do anything on the ship because we'd be in the way. So we have to be off the ship anyway. Let's just get a hotel room in Vancouver and stay there and we'll have overnight forms filled out and oh. get them approved. So we did. They were all approved. Overnight forms are also specific to the companies that we were talking about. Yes. It does not exist in celebrity the way that it, in Whoa. our time period, in our time period of being on there, it was not how it is how when her and I were in these companies. Uh, well, yeah. on, on Millennium, I did have to fill out overnight forms, a full form. Really? That's crazy yeah. because that was not on reflection. Did you just get to do it willy nilly, uh, like uh, beforehand? Yeah. Well, oh. I'm sorry, so I yeah, had I to fill out overnight there's like forms no curfew beforehand. Or anything? Yeah, that's yeah. Lovely, but I yeah. did know of some people who didn't fill out Very forms and they just brought lovely. forms to security. Yeah, you bring forms to security would be when you leave. Right. But in ours, we had to do like get days them approved ahead of time. by your right. right. Like well, that your was, manager, that was the, the GM, and safety. Right. You had to, to get it, it signed off. And yeah, the captain, yeah. I think, as well. Right. Yeah, yeah. Everybody had to sign off on the freaking thing. Yeah. But you know, again, it's one of those things where it's like they're trying to to make a procedure here, but you know, yeah. they're not all. They're also like not trying to be dicks about it or mm. you know someone trying to get off the ship and they're, they're like not, that, they was not, seen it. that was not our yeah. case yeah. because right. some people actually were trying to be that right yeah. being oh. that my ship was an older ship and a smaller ship i think they were still trying to do things but not trying to be dicks about it yeah mm-hmm. so you know i get that you guys probably had more stringent policies and procedures I, yeah well Without getting too far, I also feel like celebrity from all the com- uh, the companies I've ever worked for had the best crew life. I've said it before true. to many people. I will I've always say that complete crew opposite. life has been not the best pay, but has been the best life for the crew members. Yeah, so I'm not surprised good. to hear that like they didn't care as much. Mm-hmm. But in the lines that we were in, you had to know people in order for you to have that kind of liberty. Yeah. Celebrity. Nice job. Yeah, I feel like it Crew depends life. on the ship and the celebrity. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I had way better time in Silhouette than on Reflection. Reflection mm-hmm. was a lot more stricter and more like. It also well, depends on the black people, too. White. Well, it's because Reflection yeah. at that time was the flagship. And like, it right? all starts from the That's top, right. it trickles down, right. and yeah. who's in management and how the. Yeah. Well, if, let's go and, back. And the safety of it as well. To your story. Okay. As yeah. Well. So back to Vancouver. So we are approved for the overnight and we're like, oh, this is great. We have two overnights. We'll let your forms days ahead. Everything. Yeah. Everything is approved. And then um, they were like, okay, so when are you planning on coming back each day? And we we're like, we're not planning on coming back. We got a hotel room. <laughs> we have overnight forms. And. I don't know who specifically in higher management said it, but someone in higher management said, well, that just seems like you're having a vacation from work. And I was like, they want you to sit in your room to do work (laughs) in your room. (laughs) It's more dangerous for us to come in and out of the dry dock situation, climb all the Mm -hmm. stairs, go through that hard helmet area without hard helmets. (laughs) Like, so if we can't do anything on the ship, we can do something off the ship. Anyway, their compromise to allow us to stay in the hotel and not have to come back, even though we had our overnight forms filled out and pre-approved, their compromise was that we had to come and check back in at think, it was either 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. Yeah, at 8 a.m. both days. Jesus. Yeah. 8 a.m. Yeah. That's the compromise. That was the compromise. And we were at the far dry dock as well. So we had to track all the way from the city to go back. It was like 
a half hour, 45 minute commute in rush hour time. <sighs> yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. But, but we still each, had a really great time. And we partied it up Vancouver yeah. at mm -hmm. night. Each yeah. day you had to do this. Each day. But it was only a three-day dry dock as well. So it was only sure. two mornings that we had to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still, it's, still should poopy though. It, right. It, still still smelling. Long, it was like, smelling. The, the issue like, is yeah. that they would have done something like that either way. Yeah. I am of the mindset of like, the worst they can do is fire you. And That's if you're, fair. you're, you know, like, I, I feel like they're fired. Huh? <laughs> well, no, of course you don't want to get fired necessarily, but you know, at the same time, sometimes there are situations where they put such ridiculous things upon you. Yeah. yeah. And I'm the kind of person that likes to push the line. So I can see that. You know, yeah. Well, yeah. Would you, you know say that? you like to walk the line? Because well, I do mom. play guitar. Oh, I love that movie. And I do know the Johnny Cash <laughs> style of playing guitar. <laughs> I had to have a Johnny Cash set, so I do understand what you're insinuating here. No, I mean, I I have, um, well, when, before, what I would even tell the musicians when I became, uh, when I was in the position to be over, or, over oversee them. When you were music captain? <laughs> Those aren't the words, oh, but music. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Bing bong. Uh, I can turn on musicians. I can turn on musicians. Did you really do announcements? No, I didn't do announcements. Oh, okay. My announcements to the band the were always me. that I would call them or slip notes. Or at one point, because we all in the same corridor. You'd be the one leaving messages. No, on because all the phones. Had, in, uh, in the ships that we were on when we I was, when I had that, uh, yeah, we didn't have voicemail. No, so, how, the, how, how well, does that work? You just, you just keep calling. You just keep you call, calling. <laughs> but in some lines, like, it, would, it would show that somebody door. called you. Oh. So, but by the time I stopped working on ships, I was at the, the part of the corridor where everyone who worked in my team would have to pass my door. So I told them all, like, I'm just leaving. I'm making my door like the bulletin board. Oh, that's mm. nice. So then they would always so jump up to your dicks yeah. on your door. I mean, I had a lot of interesting things, but you know, they're, they're musicians. I don't care that's for really that. That's really smart yeah. though. Like, yeah. cause that's in a convenient spot to go to check yeah, messages yeah, it works rather out. than having to go to the office or whatever. But what I would always tell my musicians, and it's something I eventually came to just full on believe that I don't care about losing my job. I just care about yeah. doing the job. Yeah. Happiness is more important. So. Yeah. If it's I know I'm out in these places and people are making all kinds of stupid things above me, well, that makes you fire me. That's the but thing I'm about ships, out, though. I'm gonna do something because it does yeah. come down to safety as well. So there is a line drawn, which I don't think no, you've ever course. crossed that line. When I'm it, not saying you did that. Thing. Yeah, We're talking I'm just about saying that for like things. people who maybe get in ideas of like I can do whatever I want, and the worst they're gonna do is no, fire me. No, 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 no. Within yeah. reason, yeah, of course. Within reason, of course. Like if, if like, yeah. It, uh, for anybody yeah. who's ever worked on a ship, you understand, like you know. Uh, Stuff happens. Ship happens. Yeah, exactly. I mean, ship happens. You do get away with some stuff. Yeah. yeah. Know it, how that, you can get away with exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. What you're saying is just enjoy your your job. I mean, enjoy always remember it. that yeah. if an emergency happens, you're there to save someone's life too. Right. You know? Yeah. So yeah. there is an importance to that. And so know your limit and no, of have course. fun. If we're talking about an emergency most like likely won't happen. Knock that, on wood. But, yeah. Right. Uh, have your fun. That's right. But I feel like you can have your contract the best if you're always willing to be fired. It sounds a little weird, okay, but yeah, you live but it in a sure. way. That, I mean, don't do route. anything stupid. If that's yeah, of course. Go, yeah. Don't do yeah. anything stupid. Yeah. But you know, at yeah. the same time, I guess. I guess what you're trying to say is, don't be afraid of the man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they 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 because they really marking, they, they really do like and you are gonna have a great contract. They try to put yeah. the fear of God into you in like your yeah. first two weeks. Like, uh, you can't do this and this. I, I, like, I remember they were like, you can't wear earrings mm -hmm. in in, in T and D ah. training and development. Mm -hmm. And I have an earring in my ear, and I'm looking dead at her, thinking. But you're a musician, am I, though. Am I supposed to? Well, that's what I, I mean. Though. Change is important to department. Exactly. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. They're not saying that. Yeah. I, I used to have mm. a hard time because I used to wear like the little uh, uh, gold mm. necklace with the my baby ring mm. on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. So it, 
you know, informal nights is covered, but yeah. the other one is like the polo shirt. Mm -hmm. I used to have mm -hmm. so much trouble with one of the, I think it was a, it was a just a cover manager. He just came mm -hmm. for like a week or so. He used to give me so much banana because I wouldn't take my, my. Missed that term. Yeah, <laughs> so banana is when you get like. Uh, you get in, you yeah, get in yeah, yeah, reprimanded. Yeah, yeah. yeah you get in mm. trouble because I, I didn't want to take it off, mm. and like I you wouldn't, and I never it. took it off. Yeah. But That's yeah, so it always. <sighs> I always feel like jewelry is like it's your form of expression for who you are, and I don't. I mean, I can see how it can be distracting, and it ruins oh, no, the shit, brand. They don't care about that kind of stuff. You say it's all jewelry or jewelry. I said jewelry. Jewelry. I think. Jewelry. Actually, now I don't know. I, I'm just curious. I really enjoy jewelry. 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 How do you say, you say it, ju Jewelry. Jewelry? I say jewelry. 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 <laughs> jewelry? So you have a three syllable. I think mine's jewelry. a two. Jewelry? I think mine's a jewelry. 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 I mean, it also syllables? says yeah. depth. Depth. Depp. Depp. Johnny Depp. Like, you owe people money, Depp. I have like a oh, little tea. Oh, no. I, thought it was <laughs> I thought you were saying depth. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, like, like depth. Depth. ocean yeah. depth. Yeah. Like, Depp, a receipt. Oh, like, you I have like depth. silent T's. Depp. But t you do the B and the T? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do depth. I know, I'm depth. weird. But I do have to say something just because this depth. is all being filmed. I feel like I need to say something here. Okay. okay regarding what I said earlier. Of course, within reason of everything, but of course, like, you can get ridden up and fired for having apples in your cabin. That's so when I'm saying yeah, these things true. of like living little- apple in your cabin. If you can get fired for having apples in your cabin, I hope you understand within reason what I'm actually talking about here. Right. Mm -hmm. right, right. When you know cabin inspection is happening, hide Hello. your two hide. bottles of wine. Because yeah. Hide your cheese. Hide your cheese, yes. Hashtag hide your freaking cheese. <laughs> You can get fired for anything. So that's why I say live a little. Right. Empty your trash, but not in the hallway. Yes. Put your life jacket cool. on your bed. Be yeah. cool. Unplug everything. That's right. Except I, for yeah. your fridge and your television. Yes. Even that I would mad. unplug sometimes. They get mad about just, that. Just but unplug everything. everything. Just unplug yeah. everything. Yeah. Except for your fridge. Because if you need you know to there's an inspection, cold. do it. Yeah, I just hide your alcohol. Yeah, yeah just hide it, it man. So hide your cheese like, and don't hide your have alcohol. it in your cabin yeah. in the first place. Spe well, I mean, well, let's be real here. That's going to happen, but just Oh, you missed hide what it. I was saying to them. I was <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Okay, my bad. But uh, quick yeah. hide it. Don't have it. Yeah. Just hide it. I don't know it. what I'm doing anymore. Go ahead. <laughs> just so that's what I'm talking about when I say with that. the alcohol or hide it in a drawer and then put your old underwear on top, they would not mess with your underwear, ever. They have the right Melt to. Melt some chocolate onto it. it no, no, not celebrity is not the same. Oh, yeah. gosh. No, because in the lines that we Sorry, worked on, they, um, <laughs> oh. in the lines that we worked on, they had like the random inspection that was like two out of every person in the, in the department yeah. where they actually Overturn. went through everything in your cabin. They actually yeah. went through your luggage. Usually they have had that. a reason. Holy oh, shit. Oh, that was me. Red wine. Party foul. Don't red, spread red, it, red, 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 It's all right. A dabber? Yeah, just get, something to soak it and we'll get it all out. Oh, that's another story. Spelling of wine. Okay. Okay. So, first contract. Um, we are sailing twenty-four hours behind Hurricane Nicole across the Atlantic Ocean. Hurricane Nicole. When is this? Yeah. This is, is twenty sixteen. Yeah. Well, this is, this is like around your first contract, right? Because yeah. that was before. Yeah. I first. Even this is the end of my first contract. This is yeah, October yeah. of twenty sixteen. We are sailing across the Atlantic. We've been in the Mediterranean the entire six months. Dream contract, Mediterranean. Oh. I love um, what a dream! A, it's such a dream. We were in Greece like, like every other way. To, um. because of the <laughs> anyway, so we are sailing Pretty behind this hurricane trip. and going up and down on this little twelve hundred passenger guest um, vessel. That's a small ship. Tiny ship. Six lifeboats total. Tiny ship. Wow. Yeah. Which one was this? Uh, this, this is Serena. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah Sassy yeah. Serena. Oh, I remember Multiple Serena. stories about that vessel. She is sassy. Um, oh, my goodness So, gracious. we get to Bermuda, and we are in not the fun one. Hamilton. Hamilton. Okay. Not yeah, Hamilton. Georgetown. Is Georgetown the other one? 
in Bermuda? No, I'm thinking of Nassau because Freeport's in Nassau, right? Yeah. Okay, so I know that there's Hamilton in Bermuda, but that's like right where all the, the shops are at. That's it's like, like that line and there's that um, bar, rooftop bar or whatever. Oh, that building. everyone goes to that yeah, becomes yeah, yeah, crew yeah, bar? Yeah, yeah, that becomes yeah, that's crew Hamilton. bar. Yeah, Hamilton. That's so we're Hamilton, in Hamilton yeah. and we're eating at one of the restaurants um, just right there that you can see the ship at. Super expensive Overpriced, too. completely expensive. Sounds Everything's right. expensive in Bermuda. Like $14 yeah. dollars I, for a regular draft beer? $14 is... to watch a bubble pop in that sparkling water. Like, it's insane. Wow. And... <laughs> Our very wonderful server comes out and is carrying a tray of olive oil and balsamic vinegar. And but as he's bread? setting it, yeah, he already brought the bread out. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I forgot to <laughs> I tell that like, part. Of, yes, I should clarify. <laughs> there, was, yeah. there was this delicious <laughs> loaf of like fantastic bread in front of okay, me, and okay, I was okay. ready to just dive in with this like cracked pepper and salt and olive oil. I'm so excited. He's setting it onto the table and the vinegar pours over onto these like new pants that I just had that were this oh. light, it, they weren't even dark. They were like a light green, which was a horrible color for me. I don't know why I bought them, but I was wearing she them. She says that she's wearing like green. Not this type of green, no. like, like. Light olive green? But yeah, like one of those green olive, like yeah. light green. It was, it was not a good green for sure. me. Like for me. Green works for people who look like you. <laughs> okay. People like you. I'll take it. Thank you. Oh, Thank no, you very it's, much. It's not bad. I disagree, like, but I like, appreciate. I'll take the compliment. Thank you. I appreciate okay. it. Yeah. Um, anyway, the vinegar is all over my pants, and yeah. he was very sorry about it, and we got it out by dabbing. You got it. <laughs> there you go. It worked. The wine's gone. It worked. <laughs> I, I just got this image of just like the entire group and the waiter staff just. <laughs> just dabbing. Just dabbing. All right, everybody, away. together. Yeah. Also, and I think he brought me out like club me. soda too. He was very apologetic. I think he gave us a free dessert. I was expecting uh, this. Oh, to go I thought negative. you did, like club he soda gave me, on the pants. Oh, like, he gave help. me to like dip it, dip the napkin, uh -huh. and use it to dab and okay, everything. Yeah, because okay, okay. it does help. I think. I don't know. It's gone. It went away. And the dry cleaners on the ship got it out That's too. Uh, yeah. yeah, they are magical. It's good when you they know that, how to work the chemicals that kind of in that flout. ship laundry service. <laughs> uh, anyway, hey, small ships, man. Small ships. Uh, do you have your own laundry on the ship, or you had to? Our uniforms stuff? were taken care of on the ship, and our costumes were taken care of on the ship. But anything personal, like underwear or bathing suits, or like going out into port mm -hmm. um that was taken clothing. care of by a specific filipino yes exactly Ooh, yes. i have a story yeah, about absolutely. that <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm no, sure we used the crew laundry for that yeah. we could pay the price to do it and i know some people did i am fine doing my laundry myself mm -hmm. so i chose to do it the Yourself. free route speaking yeah. of a story <laughs> yes regarding laundry uh, my first contract i was super what? Super cheap. No, I never, my first contract, I never used any laundry, whether what? it was the crew laundry, free I laundry. So you just you wore the same clothes every single day. And yeah, you I, were never, that guy. I, I never washed anything. Watch on the shower. So, so here's what I did. <laughs> I love it. Um, a buddy of mine, Michael Redden. Michael, oh if you're watching. Oh, God. R Michael um, Redden. I remember you'll, him. You'll remember this. Nice to meet so, you. I remember him. He, he <laughs> had this big container, <laughs> big fine. protein container. Right. And he was like, bro, do you want this? Like, I'm about to leave and like, I don't need this. So he had that like one, like gallon and a half protein container. He, I never saw him working out. Why would he even have something like that? You don't Wait, need to work bro. out to have protein. Protein builds muscle. <laughs> anyway. So I don't know what was, I think, I can't remember what I did with it. Regardless, what I used the container for, I had these uh, Tide Pods. So what I would do is I'd take like three shirts or five pairs of underwear, my socks or whatever, and I would actually wash them in the protein jar. You just That's it. brilliant. So what I would do is I'd fill it up with water in the bathroom yeah. and throw in my clothes and throw in the, the, the pod and I would shake it up. And that would be also my workout for the day as well. <laughs> And, and Two birds, would, one stone. That's right. Yeah. And I would shake it up, and then it, I once I noticed that the pod was pretty much gone, and it was shaken up well enough, then I would un, undo it and pour out all the water into the sink, 
and then I would pull the clothes out and I would hang it up on a on a, a hanger. The string, right? No, 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 on a hanger. Oh, okay, on an actual. And hanger. then um, in the shower, I would wear my bathing suit and I would just hang it up and then take a shower and just like rinse, rinse it off. It out. And then, um, if you remember how the the uh, the yeah. the curtain the, the curtains yeah. were, there were these little um, drying strings. Not even the strings, because uh, we didn't we didn't earlier, we didn't yeah. have strings. So the strings um, are more of like our yeah. the other t- the other companies. There were these little thought, loops yeah. that that the the curtains would hang on. There were little hooks, but oh, okay. be- but because it had loops. I basically took you these the wire hang. hangers and I strung them through the hoops. Yeah. And I let them dry. Wire yeah. hangers. That's right. <laughs> Eventually what I did was because I didn't want to um I got I had a roommate and he would he would work out during the afternoon. Mm-hmm. Josh. So oh, he would, yeah. He would work oh, out during God. the afternoon. He would run and he would get maximum sweaty. I have not ever Lovely. met anybody who gets as sweaty as Josh. <laughs> My goodness gracious. <laughs> if Josh is watching this, he knows how much I love him. I Josh love doesn't Josh. watch my, my YouTube channel. What? Oh. Regardless, he, oh, okay. he sweats like no other. I thought I sweat. He sweats. Dude, Josh is Regardless. a whole other level, man. So eventually what I started doing is, you do you know the, the curtains on the, 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 the bunk? Oh, the bunk, yeah. So same concept. It has little the loops, hooks that it hangs from. Right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So I would just start hanging my underwear and my socks and my shirts <laughs> and my pants from. Basically, that would become my curtain. Yeah. Not, and not so I started great just doing all of that. Etiquette. Did that, you clean it for that's, cabin that's, inspection? That's not great roommate etiquette, but. No, it definitely wasn't yeah. good roommate etiquette. But you know, <laughs> considering it was Josh, he didn't really care. You know, whatever. Well, knowing Josh, and then cleaning for can, cleaning yeah. for. Um, uh, uh, inspection. I never really had a problem with inspection. Hmm. But speaking of stories, this is not my story, but I did hear about a situation where um, security walked into a naked guy. <laughs> and they just, they opened the door. Yeah, on silhouette. Yeah, That's right. I, <laughs> and then they just closed the door. Yeah. They don't and like they seeing just, that, man. Look. Nope, I'm good. I mean, that's a great way to get out of cabin inspection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're hiding. Well, you know, it, it, it just kind of yeah. makes me think to myself, <laughs> what What if I knew there was cabin inspection at eight and I'm like, like furiously masturbating <laughs> in, in my in my bunk? What would happen? Oh, I thought you were going to say standing there as they open the door and well, that would sure. be something entirely I mean, different. Oh, but I feel yes. like that would be a little aggressive. You know, yeah, just yeah, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm just sitting down, yeah, just yeah, face, that's... face the closet instead. Right, right. You know, you what know, a, yeah, 90 down. degree angle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah or maybe degree. if I'm just turned around and it's just, you know, backside. Oh, okay. So back view of it. Right. But then, exactly. but then you, you catch the over the shoulder. Right. <laughs> and I'm just like, hey, what's up? Is it a stop or a continuation? Yeah. Why are we talking about no, 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 no stop. Uh, okay. Just full continuation. <laughs> Why am I participating in it? I'm, you know? I'm like egging it on. It's absurd. Or, anyway. or what if what if you just Sorry, go no, even no. harder once security comes in? Uh, <laughs> and ask him to join? Sure. Okay. Uh, I feel like you might cross the line there to where you could get in actual trouble. But I bet someone would join. You, but I bet the right person would. You know, if you if you encounter the feel, right security guard. I don't yeah, feel like the I kind of feel like they know it. though. Yeah, your odds it's, are against it's like, you. It's like but a it team of three happen. people. It could happen. happen. So if it was if it was one person, then maybe I'm going to go happen. with Lex's advice. Uh, okay. And don't, just say, yeah, don't, don't be afraid of being fired. Yeah. Hey, you know, so you're, just, you're just, definitely going to have a story at the end of it. <laughs> so, and probably it's okay, a you know, I think, yeah, I think the have, moral of the story is story. furiously masturbate during cabin, inspection. cabin inspections. I mean, they're playing lovely music through the speakers usually, oh, so God. why not? I could I mean, not stand what yeah. they would do with that, even if it was... Uh, celebrity wasn't like this, but in our side, I yeah. know, cause I say this because I've been on the side that you guys have worked with, or at least in terms of celebrity and in the companies we did, celebrity didn't have it to where the music was played in everywhere. It was, um, 
It was in Oceania. They played music in your cabins? It they was played. like turnaround days, too, to test all the PA systems. Turn they would turn around. Turn yeah, around. it might as well have been, man. It was like yeah. K-Rick 101, but all the ones you don't want to hear. Oh, so, and that's like, that's if it was nice, go. sometimes yeah. it would be like, I don't even, like a strange techno into lullaby, oh. like, and then a country song They did in. this, man. They so took the microphone. I won't move this microphone but they put the microphone to the speaker yeah oh. to the comm and system so, mm-hmm. yeah so it was whatever anybody was playing out of that speaker yeah but it would go in all the cabins there was not any For unless you're an probably hour. like an officer in terms of like the mafia and if it can be routed that way it would not i don't know i would i can't say that because i don't know to be but you concerned. assume that's what the case was. I would not it be surprised. It changed from safety officer to safety officer. They sure. would have different checks and captain to captain as well. Everything wow. changes by yeah. those two. The captain, safety officer, and staff captain, those three. Yeah. I always felt like staff captain was just always dealing with the deck people. Like, I never really saw yeah. much of him unless it was like or if a you're hearing in or something yeah, yeah. because they deal with he deals discipline. with discipline yeah yeah well what i, I say he say can be a she as well i was just most being of the time they're they that are is, he that, that happens with, as well but mm-hmm. yeah it, yeah it, it is definitely a he most of the time but celebrity i think has been doing well with that they've had like a, yeah. a few female captains who's yeah. a female captain that's very popular kate something uh, she's on the flagship well i don't know what it's like anymore but on the flagship for celebrity they had a woman on there i thought it was great i was like Jeez. Why do I feel like yeah, the like finally, do, I feel yeah. like there are a lot of female captains out there now. Yeah, I hope yeah. there are a lot of female captains out there on now, region, and I hope there will be more. On region, I it know for sure sense. that there was one because that was the last captain that I was with. She, it was a female captain. Very cool. Yeah, she was from. I think she's from Italy. Greece? No, 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 no. <laughs> the Greece thing is is a celebrity thing. That's only for men. No, it's because of the Greek <laughs> thing, like Greece uh, celebrity. That's why they have the X. And everything. Oh, right, right, they right. They have right, a strong right, right. tie to Greece, which is oh, why. Oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah. And yeah. even while, like, if you notice uh, the officers on Celebrity, whoever's from Greece, it won't even say Greece, it'll say Elios. Because yeah. originally, in their language, oh, interesting. and before whatever has happened in history that I don't know enough on, so don't quote me on it. We're going to quote them on it. Lexer said this. <laughs> God. <laughs> no, but the point is, is that Elios is what it was called before. Everyone started calling it in Greece according to whatever their history is. I don't know it enough because I'm not Greek because I don't work on celebrity anymore. What? You're not Greek? Yeah, I know. Oh, My name it? is a Greek name, That's, but it's, but. I thought you were from the sure? Cuban part of Greece. Really yeah. Like I know I look like it, especially with this hair and these, <laughs> yeah. these curls. Yeah. But. Uh, no, I'm not. That was fun. Thanks. But the point is, like, it has a strong tie to, Gre- uh, a tie to Greece, which is why they have the X in there. Cool. All the ships have the X. Now I understand. And so why so many new every day? Yeah, like, I always wonder why celebrity X. Yeah. I don't know why. I just thought of like X Factor. Well, Me no, too, but, yeah. but celebrity yeah. had okay. So celebrity had the the person who I don't remember all of it. Here's what I do remember: that the person who started celebrity had an X in their name. Is that right? <laughs> What? Oh. I don't know. His name is Xavier Celebrity. His name oh. is Javier. Yeah, Javier Celebrity. <laughs> with an X. Yeah, right. with an X. With okay. an X. Yeah. So right? they're Mexican then. Exactly. Got mm, it. Right? Not it's not, Greek. It's not it has a Greek nothing company. to do with no. Greece. No. It is a Mexican company. Well, then how do you explain <laughs> <laughs> all the deck people I being Greek? Greek. But, they, I am Greek. but they figured we might as well go with the Greek people so that nobody ever knows that it's from Mexico. Yeah. Um, but we'll stop by that's why that's why no. they go by Cozumel oh yeah yeah uh, that, that's okay. like if you want to talk okay. about Mexico cruises okay. that's that's uh, carnival it is definitely <laughs> not carnival and they're Mexico oh my god the have you, you just been a dark show always. band musician so you yeah, like yeah, see yeah, all yeah. the I don't know what this whole thing well you guys probably aren't on yeah you're not yeah they're not on it yeah. <laughs> you don't understand what I'm talking about the joke I'm trying to get at here with okay, like the carnival okay you say the joke then you guys want to get it because you're not on the... 
Then now you gotta explain it for I'm everybody because gonna... we're not the only ones. Like, okay, yeah. for those that are musicians, there's mm-hmm. a Facebook page that has to do specifically for musicians who worked in show bands, and there's this ongoing joke that I have no, I have no idea how it became the thing, but all of them keep posting this same article of like these ships that collided from Carnival. <laughs> They're from the same company. Mm. They car- they collided in Cozumel or Cozumel. Sorry, oh, no. I said it like in between languages. Okay. And this happened and many years ago, but they keep posting it now because like, hey guys, have you seen this? Have you seen this? And it's just like an ongoing joke. I don't understand. But you guys, I'm saying this for the sake of anybody else who's watching because I it's like gone. What's the joke? Yeah, <laughs> that's the joke. They just keep talking, but yeah. Have- Oh, they just keep talking about the ships. They keep talking about something that happened a long time ago, and now the joke is to bring it up. Oh, uh, okay, okay. And everyone's tired it's of a, hearing it's an it. It's inside joke. Okay. Yeah, it's an inside it's joke. You guys aren't on the inside. You dragged me out of it. And guess what? You're still not inside of it. Now that you can't be, it's just said. that you... We'll figure it out. Uh, again, now that you no, cannot just, be, it's I'm, that... I'm really curious what started the joke. Yeah. I am as well, to be quite honest. People just keep posting Because if it's just been going on and on, then it must have been really good. No, it's that some people got mad about it, and that was enough reason for people to keep joking about it. Oh, so now it's like a troll joke? Yeah, it's a troll joke. What were we talking about before before the captain thing? Um, We were talking about all the deck officers being Greek on Celebrity. Can you pour me a... a, It's it's tiny. You tell me one then. Do you guys know any scary... Scary movies. Win, win, win. Thanks. Well, supposedly the the um, the the smaller ships yeah are haunted. Yeah, I heard oh. a lot of stories from mm. Millennium. Real quick, that's Ooh. when I hear stories what, what about. I, what I will say is also um, we brought this up in in a podcast like two weeks ago, but you guys have been on Norwegian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. you've been on Norwegian. Well, I've been on Oceania. Well, I haven't been on I've Norwegian. Been, I've, oh, okay. been on, I've only gotcha. been on two Norwegian ships. But okay, um, which, which was that Norwegian ship? So the CDC has this this uh, program called the Sanitation Program. I, I've had way too many drinks to remember. The, the one enough. is course lowest. The lowest ship. I, don't, the, I was, yo, was just the Norwegian epic. epic. It was the epic. The Norwegian like epic ever ship in history, the, the lowest ever recorded. As of 2019. Oh, recently. The Norwegian yeah. epic scored the lowest on the vessel sanitation program, which is a. They uh, are very meticulous uh, about that too. If you've yeah. ever been around, like and that's yeah. by the CDC. So they got the literally the lowest score, but which is an eighty six. Oh, that's not an eight. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. Well, it's not good. They, they yeah. also yeah, they not. always want to go for a hundred percent. So I well, get it. let yeah. me say this though: anything below an eighty five is not passing. So they so it was literally on the bottom rung. Uh, of the hairs of their chinny chin. So they chin still pass the, though. They were still, still clean enough to pass. pass. Okay, exactly. but that's like, yeah, yeah. So what? like, what are you guys doing on that ship? Yeah, they get really crazy around testing I, time. I can say a lot of stuff, but I'm just not gonna. Mm-hmm. I haven't been on the Epic. I have a lot of friends that went to the Epic, but yeah. I don't. I have never really been on it. It really doesn't surprise me that they score low though. Yeah. There are. That's so sad. Oh. I mean, they're, they're, <laughs> they still do the cleaningness mm. thing. Yeah. It's just like the the rules are kind of Meh. more to have yeah. Yeah. To yeah. advantage, you know. Sure. Yeah. Is that a you small ship or a big have, ship? How many? No, it's a big it's ship. A big ship. I think it's a big. Like, like I've never decks. got to know every. I don't know, ship. but it's like I never I think of like decks. The, I think of lifeboats. That just helps me like okay. picture yeah. how big it is. Because then well, you like because each lifeboat holds never about one hundred and fifty. That way, right? Sure. No, it changes. It changes with ships, like how, okay, how much their so lifeboats hold. Okay, so what would you say the parameter is of it? Because you can still kind the, of. The I mean, last I can remember is what yeah. you and I were in. I don't remember. Wait, the hold on. What's anymore. a lifeboat? A lifeboat <laughs> is a boat that will save your life in case of an uh, emergency. Yeah. And they're orange or, or if you can't answer a question okay. and you have to phone a friend and you already used that up, you can use a lifeboat. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's right. Okay. I never I'd like to use a lifeboat, please. That's a who wants to be a millionaire reference. I don't. 
I don't think you. Yeah, you went through. What? Yeah. Uh, I was saying that for for Scarlotta over here. <laughs> Scarlotta. 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 Yeah. yeah <laughs> he probably doesn't know these things. What's your nickname again? I forget. I don't have a nickname. Jeff. JD. <laughs> My name is Jeff. DJ? No, what? <laughs> it used to be called DJ. Huh? JD? Uh, yeah. JD? That, that was yeah, your nickname? That was, uh, so here's, here's a personal story. Okay. I like this. When I, when I was in Joe. elementary school, I had a really good friend. His name was Israel. And yeah. he gave me the nickname. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, this is before or happened. after the dick. Jordan He's turned, into, this yeah, turned okay. into Jaden turned into JD. So usually when you have nicknames and, and like... Uh, like the two letter acronyms. Yeah. It's usually like Jack Daniels, like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. get wasted on some JD this weekend, whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, he started calling me JD because he, it just got lazy. Mm-hmm. So my nickname through the end of elementary school, through middle school, through high school was JD. Oh. I have never heard you reference as JD up until this moment. It's only a select group of friends. Hmm. And but what's funny is that do I get to call you JD? You can call me. You can call me whatever you want. Oh, <laughs> just don't call him late for dinner. Oh, oh do you want me to? Yeah. You go ahead and light that candle. Brown, yeah, yeah. Don't you light my candle. brown chicken, brown cow. Oh, <laughs> yes. So, but but in Pasadena High School, which was not a school that I went to, I went to Muir. Which was I like, thought you went to Pasadena High. <laughs> See, and that's my point, is that there were so many people from Pasadena High School, and I had a lot of friends from Pasadena High School, uh-huh. who even thought I went to Pasadena High School. <laughs> so you were at John Muir this whole I was, time. I was at, well, no, I was at Muir for two months, and then I went to Crescenta Valley. Okay. So, okay, for, for those <laughs> of you who are watching like our region and, that yeah. you guys Listening, are not understanding here. You guys don't, you, you may not know the geography behind it, you got Pasadena High School. You got John Muir, which is about five to seven miles away. Then you got Crescenta Valley, which is about 15 miles away. Further than that one? Yeah. So from, now from it's Pasadena like 20 minutes away or 20, 20 miles, miles from. Yeah. yeah, just about 15, 20 miles away, okay. half an hour away, about. And I had a lot of friends who thought that I went to Pasadena High School. <laughs> and the, the people who knew me from Pasadena High School, who knew me, through, through other friends, they knew me as JD because well, this, they met me cat. from people. Well, yeah, it all started from that one friend, uh-huh. right? <laughs> and anyway, so that's why I have I still have friends to this day who call me JD, but nobody would ever call me that outside of that circle. Interesting. Okay, so then, because I know that you know, like Isaac, Will, and a few others from high school, right? Right. Well, no, no, no. Okay, hold on, wait, wait, real quick. Will I know from high school. Isaac I know from college. Isaac would never call me JD. I thought that you knew Isaac from this time period. No, no, no. Because like you guys are I met are Isaac close. when I was like I 20 thought... years old. Isaac was the one who introduced me to Everything. slamming beers in his van. Yep. I'm not surprised, man. I mean, if that there's anybody like that story. ever learned that I'm learned me real good about drinking, it was Isaac. Oh my god! Yeah, I actually kind of wish he was here right now. And and going back to time. Isaac, Isaac was the one who introduced me to cruise ships and myself as well. He called me and I had I had ten days. He was like, "Hey, can you drop your life <laughs> for the next three and a half months?" And I was wow. like, "Yeah, I love adventures." When did he hit you up? Two thousand twelve? No, this was uh, two thousand fourteen, fifteen. Wait, hmm. what year is it now? 2020. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it was like 2014. Are we in the Matrix? I remember, <laughs> yeah, it feels like it. I remember uh, I started my first cruise ship, I think it was 2014 March, beginning of March. And it was because of his phone call. And he, I even remember like where I was at. I was on my way to school when he called me. I was driving to PCC. And... I remember that eventually over time that that phone call ever happened because of Will. 
Mm. Because before that, uh, he came back into town and we had like a jam session. And he we, he talked to Will like saying, hey, I need, a, I need you know, a musician for this because he asked another musician who I'm not going to name, who's well known to be a flake. And I think mm. I know... I know exactly. You know exactly what I'm talking about. about. Yeah. I know the whole well story. Well known to be a flake. Yeah. And um, he called me saying, like, I need I need some, will you play bass? Because he figured, like, I'll switch the guitar because he knows that I play bass. Yeah. But that conversation only happened because of a jam session. And I played bass on that jam session. Mm-hmm. And Will was the one that vouched for me. Good old Will. Will is like my brother, man. You know, like, him and I look exactly the same, except he looks a little more Asian than I do. Just a little bit. Yeah. It's probably because he's half Just Japanese. Yeah. yeah. He's black and he's, <laughs> he's, he's black and he's, uh, but him, he, like when we were in college, we, we were like brothers. Also, I will say Will is deceptively fast. I have not raced against somebody who <laughs> runs as fast as Will. And I love sprinting. I love it's that racist, challenge man. of like racing. <laughs> yeah, it is racist right now. I was like, I why, mean, why did you not think he was going to be fast? Because he does everything. Okay, you never met no, Will. He's yeah, like, yeah he's like, I Will don't is, know who this person I, is. Will is a, yeah. Will is a very Okay, okay. Like, yeah, so for him to be like a fast, person. that's insane. Yeah. yeah, he's like, when you think of a sloth, <laughs> then there's Will after that. Like, <laughs> just Ooh, in his mannerisms. Like before. No, after. Oh, okay. But when it comes to like an actual competition, because him and I spent like a whole few days, so it felt like a month of challenging each other. Like we're going to race. Yeah. We're going to race. And then it happened. And the only reason why I beat him was because he tripped. You know, the funny thing about Will <laughs> he is tripped. that he, he's that kind of guy where he would just kind of surprise you. Oh, yeah. With Will just one of my something. favorite people, man. He'd be like, bro, you want to get down so surprising. on Smash Brothers Melee? I'm like, what the? You play that game? He's like, yeah. And he's like, deceptively good at it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. What? And you know what's funny is that, so originally I know that Isaac hit him up to to be a drummer on cruise ships. Uh Will said no, because I, I talked to him about this as well. And his reasoning was because he knew that if he went on cruise ships, he wouldn't be around for the gigs that mm, would yeah. happen on land yeah. and will's doing for, from for, last i heard he's been doing amazing things oh yeah oh, will's been doing he's great an things. amazing drummer yeah. dude he played at a super bowl with aloe black oh that's pretty will cool is a killing drummer man like i i love that i met him at the time that i did mm-hmm. i don't know if i can even afford him but he came to Wait, my party like a while ago this guy you met him I yes met you met because you were there it was yes. when you visited and you were there and you were uh, there and you were there. Wow, well, that's what I met you guys. You were there? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. I, it was I, actually I, I'm time. trying to start saying that's what I met you ladies because we've always been saying you guys. So now oh, I'm going to okay, flip the good. script. So okay. is that all right with oh, you guys? Like you want to say you ladies? <laughs> all right, yeah. Yeah. ladies. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not so uncomfortable well, that I, I can. Mean, let's see. I don't know that. if I'll be able to say it. I'm probably going to flip I think you would want to go with you That's fine. Actually, I think I could just say y'all. That's true. No, no, you gotta yeah. say or folks, you all. Or esteemed y'all. guests. That's right. Because you haven't asked me my pronoun yet. So I, I Actually, you've like never asked me my that. pronouns either. Now I feel a little offended. <laughs> I do apologize. Do you prefer to be called him, he, his? That's I what I that, assumed, I and that's that what I've been saying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so. <laughs> so you ladies? He, has, he hasn't really so thought ladies? about it yet. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll it it yet. I'm all right with that. Well, either way... From someone right, un- who understands how it is for Latinos and where you say things yeah. from a male perspective, just in general. Yeah. I mean, whatever. I just kind of want to do it as a social experiment and see what happens. You just know, say, just start saying. Yeah, ladies just start saying ladies in the presence of men. Yeah, and Boys. just see what happens. Well, I mean, you're doing it in a yeah, safe spot well. because I feel like Jordan and I won't be bothered by bothered it. by yeah. it. Yeah. I think that is the answer to the social experiment. That's it. Oh. Well, if you want to experiment, I guess this is like the controlled environment? Yeah. 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 We're we're definitely not the control because we're... Yeah. We're we're pretty... You're a little bit more leaning towards the um, open to it rather than like neutral control, no idea of it. We're definitely open to it. Oh, yeah, we're open to it. (laughs) 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. One day I'll plan a little study for that. <laughs> we're, you, you see, we flipped it on them. We're too comfortable. That's right. Way too comfortable. Our sexuality and our relationship between you and I. And all I don't know how my viewers are going to well, take this. I don't know this. if that's a flip, though, because that's assuming that I thought relax. you were going to be uncomfortable with it. Well, I think, well, not to flip the flip, that you knew that either one of us wouldn't actually be bothered by it. Because you know us personally, and also, I, like, I understand why you're saying what you're saying, and again, like, nobody's saying you shouldn't... We should try it when like, we have other people. If anything, I, know, I mean, right? like, yeah. you know, yeah. go ahead, In a big group. do it try other it. people. Try it, try what it. happens? Shock other people. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if you say that kind of Anyhow. stuff. Like, or don't, actually. Maybe, like, we should all be conscious of I mean, of if, you, if you point at me and say you're a yeah. woman, then, like, then I feel like there might be a little more reason to be like, well, yeah. you know, I feel like you're attacking me now. <laughs> But if you that say that, be. knowing from that context, like... Well, I'm going to cut this off because this is not a political podcast. <laughs> and I'm not sure how many people are going to... Yeah, we yeah, digressed we're from we're ships a long time ago, move, right? in that direction. Yeah. But anyway, I, I think, I think we're going to we're gonna <laughs> oh, chop it off right here. Um, if you guys are seeing any value in this episode, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more episodes just like this for people like us. Hit the subscribe button. But you've been watching or listening to the Ship Life TV podcast, the show that is dedicated to raising awareness of the opportunity of working on cruise ships and helping new and existing crew have an enjoyable contract. And the life, man. That's There's right. Good mm. ship life. The good Just ship know how life. to avoid all the bad ship life. Yeah. The good outweighs. Know that. how to avoid Just... the bad ship life by not being afraid to get fired. Yes. There right. is truth to that. Right. Again, I will Go. say again <laughs> that it's within reason and understand that you can be fired over having oranges. All right, ladies. We're going to start having comments. Because I got fired because of what? Understand <laughs> again that you again. can be fired for having oranges. I once almost got fired because I snuck cheese out of... I know we made a That's joke. Why you this is a cheese. different one. I snuck cheese We're because I was gonna have a date with somebody. I Ooh. snuck cheese out right. of the out of the crew mess. Was it like a wine and cheese event? Well, it would have been between her and I. Well, no, I know. I'm just like, yeah, is that yeah. the type of cheese that? Yeah, you it was like no, it was cheese. Right not, not a wine and cheese event. It was at um. It but was cheese from at, like the mess like line. The dinner, the dinner, dinner time, and I took it when they were closing the mess. Uh, Brilliant. Yeah. So I took it when they're gonna throw it away. This is not cheese. This is not cheese that they're like saving for later. This yeah. is they're gonna throw it away. I took. I you took know where they're gonna humble, do with it. I took a, a humble <laughs> triangle, a humble small triangle I could fit in the palm of my hand, and I almost got fired for that. Yeah, that's so upsetting. you should have put your underwear on top of it. Mm -hmm. No, the, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I tried sneaking it out, but the person in charge you got caught in the mess. In the mess. Taking and the cheese. Taking the cheese. Was the cheese covered? It was like, covered. Uh, well, there's your problem, bro. Yeah, well, I, you were I feel like I was it throwing out. it away, but then I try to, <laughs> I try to like bring it to my coat. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no. That's problem, why you make friends with a with a person. Well, in the I didn't kitchen. do the thing. It was my last cruise. Okay, I was very reckless. I almost got fired for. Other reasons that are on a different podcast, I don't even feel like getting into. <laughs> but <laughs> the point is, that's on the fired podcast. Yeah, that's a, you want to have a fired podcast, man? Can we like blur my face for that? Yeah, absolutely. Because I have stories. <laughs> Subtitles underneath, and then Lexer said this. Yeah, but the point is, is that you can get fired for like anything if somebody doesn't like you. That's right. So I tried sneaking sure. cheese absolutely. because of somebody that was saying. You know, I want to have a wine and cheese because I'm about to leave too. I want to have a special time between her and I. Uh, someone saw the head oh. of all of the crew mess saw that. And he's like, hey, aren't you supposed to throw that away? And like, you're exactly right. And I threw it away and I left. Hmm. I got reported. Because you didn't wash your hands. <laughs> washy washy. I got reported. Yeah, that's that's washy washy is is a is a celebrity that's thing. That's a celebrity thing. Yeah, but they tried uh, to fire me, but then the the captain was like, "This dude is already leaving. This is his last cruise. He's got three yeah. days. If he can do anything to not get fired for the last like these next three days, then fine, we'll deal with it." What did you do? Did you stay in your cabin or did you like fuck around? Did, yeah. 
Well, yeah. I mean, I was kind of pushing it because I honestly feel in my second to last contract. So you were furiously masturbating during inspection. Yeah. That, they didn't catch that one. I was pretty disappointed. All right. Yeah, I was pretty disappointed they didn't catch that one. No, my last two contracts, I think subconsciously, I just really wanted to get fired. I was tired of working on ships. Yeah. Different story, different time, downer, whatever. But yeah. the point is, they didn't fire me only because of how little I had left. I had like three days and they're like, it would be too much trouble. If he doesn't cause any more trouble, then we'll keep him. So you're saying pick and choose your battles. Mm -hmm. Pick and choose your battles. Yes, of uh, course. Yeah. Also, don't be afraid to be fired. <laughs> but at the same time, know that you can be fired for anything. So I was pick your battles. Ask, is there a reason why? And I think I know the answer. But is there a reason why you didn't want to just quit? Yeah. Why? Not? I think uh, anybody who's been working on ships can agree with me on that. And that is very rare that you stop working on ships. It's very difficult. Yeah. People don't stop. They get fired. People who stop working on ships more often than not. I'm not saying everybody. But more often than not, they get fired and they get put in a position to where they can't get the job as easy. <laughs> I mean, I chose not to go back. <laughs> Out of the four people in here. None of us got fired. Well, okay. Including you. I'm no? not going to... I'm not going <laughs> to... But, 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 but in Lexer's but defense, I'm yeah, just saying I more often than not, that's the ongoing yeah. thing that I've heard. Because working on a cruise ship is a very addictive environment. Yeah. Depending let, on let the me, position, let me, it's let, even more addictive. I, what I will say is, maybe you're not fired, but you're kind of forced out. Yeah. Because of that like, circumstances. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, uh, you know, because I feel like your particular wording may make people feel like, like, well, they I need to do something you like yeah, crazy. Yeah, like, no, yeah. no, you can't. Yeah. You know, like, that's why for, I keep going back to so being fired for anything. For me, like I wasn't fired, but at the same time, like I was ejected from the yeah. ship. Mm -hmm. My my dual partner got pregnant, and they basically just said, like, "Well, your contract was ended. You're done." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a time well, like I was that done too, before man. the contract was mm. ended. So, but they literally, you know, it like, okay, you're done. Yeah. So I had I, that same situation. You know, I got kicked off of a contract because of things that were not within my power. Like, oh, not even just once. This is a thing that comes with the industry. So, mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah. So, it, things happen. So, I wouldn't necessarily say that, you know, people leave because they get fired. But it's kind of just like you get fed up and you leave. Some people are fired and some people are just like, all right, I can't deal with this anymore. Mm. Or some well, people love it for right. life and they're still yeah. doing it. Well, that, I mean, not right that's now. A, that's, that's a, a different, kind of, that's be, a different yeah. kind of human that I don't yeah. believe is for everybody. Oh, yeah. Those, those, are, those are the lifers. Those are the lifers. He loves them. Those are lifers <laughs> yeah. to me. He, I'm using it in terms of like military terms. He's right, right. meeting with straight Filipino. On that. Can you yeah. imagine the I can shock do that. right now, though? For those people that are so used to cruise ship. Oh, yeah. The people that are still stuck. I know people that are still stuck on a yeah. cruise ship right now. I think oh, actually the Filipino nationality just we finally. About it that breaks well. my heart. Yeah. I've gone on, I have gone on record because Facebook is, uh, Facebook is a record, talking about the mental struggles and yeah. how the people are having a very hard time yeah. in all of this bull. So my heart goes out to crew members. Yeah. Well, it's since we brought hard it up, time. I mean, I think before we wrap up this podcast, I think I, I, I want, I definitely want to talk about the idea of the quarantine and people being tra trapped, they yeah. are on trapped on cruise ships, on floating refugee camps, right? Well, that's what they are. So, well, so they are because well, they can't, they can't get home. Here, here's, 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 here's my perspective. Continue. Yeah. Here's yeah. my perspective. Right. I mean, like, yes, they are technically trapped because they can't leave. Right. But what what's the alternative? Mm -hmm. Do you want the ship just to leave them in whatever port? It depends on if their communication with their family is clear or not, because that would be my hope. If I could not be in contact with my family mm -hmm. and I was stuck at sea and mm -hmm. like if Wi-Fi wasn't working, well, I would be going. Companies did start doing that. Yeah. They gave them yeah. The so if they're taking care and they're so able, if I was able to communicate with my family, I would prefer to be on a ship because there's no guests. <laughs> you well, could probably I mean, hang out in the pool if you have a cool staff captain well, and captain and I everything. I mean, 
There are some photos of people doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah but here's it doesn't an last very long. Here's an example. Because right? of the media. I talked to Riley Tinch, who has a substantial YouTube channel, and he was he was quarantined for 150 days oh, on God. on Royal Caribbean. They let him have they, they gave him four hundred dollars a month without having to do anything. Wait, they actually paid him? They paid yeah. him. Because well, I don't know can't of go anybody anywhere. that's yeah. been paid. This oh, is the first really? I've ever heard of anyone getting paid. They were paying him. Yeah. That's crazy. And that's Royal Caribbean. Okay, uh, what position did they have though? He had lighting, he, had, uh, he was in lighting, he was in entertainment. Okay, I'm not surprised that it came from entertainment. Sure. But. But, but here's the other thing though, is that why would, you know, like they're, it wouldn't make sense for Royal to just pick and choose who they're gonna pay and who they're what not. What country were they from though? He, he's, I believe, well, he's living in Alaska right now. I believe he's Canadian. Mm -hmm. So that it's not like we're dealing well. with like yeah. American. Well, Canadian is still in the bubble of like no. North America. We, we, I feel it's like a Northern Hemisphere preference, yeah, for sure. I mean, cause know. that also includes like England would be in that. Right. Yeah. But Keep unless you have specific and... evidence that somebody from, for example, Ecuador is not getting paid on a cruise ship. Yeah. Then specific I evidence. Don't, I yeah. don't know. We're that... talking about hearsay here. Right. Exactly. But, you know, at the same time as someone who's been working on ships for five and a half years, I'm not surprised to hear that. Sure. There Just are... to add it, my friend from Honduras. He was still paid. He was on carnival. Full amount. He was paid his full amount. On carnival. On carnival. They gave Man, him. They gave okay. him a, a, this uh, is wonderful news to me because I have not heard this. I've only been talking to friends of mine that have been stuck mm -hmm. in whatever country, whatever ship. I've not heard of this. So this mm -hmm. is. They this, gave him a part-time position. Yeah, this is time. pleasant to hear. Right, and so well, I think I think that it is important for people to know that it's not for a lot of people. It's not being stuck and trapped on the ship. In in in, in essence, sure, because yeah. you know, like you're trying mm. to, you can't get off. Yeah, and you are technically stuck and trapped on the ship. But yeah, at the same people time, are like all bombarding the it, beaches. It, it's not. It's not from a standpoint of well, fuck you. Mm. You don't get to leave. It's there's a pandemic no, going on. No, there's yeah. a lot of and things. A lot involved. of the time. If not all of the time, it's because your country won't let you back in. Yeah, exactly. and that's your why they're refugees. Country. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So it's yeah. not because of the cruise ship. Yeah. Because we just, uh, we, we, we reacted to this like a week, a week and a half ago, where this guy was like, he said he had to go back on his... Um, because of a toothache he, he, or he something. He was able to leave oh. and leave the cruise ship because he had an impacted wisdom tooth. Mm -hmm. And he was like really upset that he had to, that the only reason he was able to go back was because of this impacted wisdom tooth. And then he was upset because, you know, the CDC and the Coast Guard wasn't wasn't letting this Americans back in. Yeah. yeah. Right. And he was a US citizen, but you know, we and we had a lengthy discussion on mm. the podcast about, well, I mean, what do you- The way what, he you, phrased it. Yeah. The yeah. way he phrased it want? wasn't- and also, it's not just Americans. There are a lot of people. Uh, when I was talking yeah. again to the same guy, Riley, he said he knows people from, for example, South of, South Africa, because South Africa is not at that time, at least, wasn't letting people back mm -hmm. in. They also got a lot of problems that are happening there right now. Like I've heard about all the water shortages and everything. Well, they that's they happening. Yeah, they everywhere. Lot. So everywhere. I they guess a lot my, my point. My point here. is that. You know, I know a lot of people are really upset about the fact that people are stuck and trapped on cruise ships, but look, it could be worse. Yes. You know, they could just yeah. drop you off at the nearest third world country and say, yeah, and say, and, good luck. Yeah, yeah. We'll figure, yeah, we'll figure this out because your country's not letting you back in. Yeah. So I don't know what you want us to do, but we're still can't getting have you fed. On the ship. Yeah. It sucks. It definitely mm -hmm. sucks. But yeah, it's like, what else is there? Yeah. Even I mean, the ship, what else is there? There's no pandemic. That's what else yeah, there is. A lot of people are staying in yeah. guest cabins. This is why I said like a floating refugee camp. But the problem that I was having up until like it started to not become so much of a political thing was that I felt like a lot of times the companies felt like they were under some sort of pressure to put on 
these certain terms of social distancing when it when everything didn't it didn't exist on the ship at all right but they put people in situations to where they had to spend like 20 to almost 24 hours in their own cabin Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whether it be a guest cabin or not like that is insanity yeah I know because I've been I, isolated for yeah, you, seven to eight hours you, before. In yeah, my you cabin. guys understand what that's like. GI. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> issue is that, like, if it isn't something yeah. that's an actual case on board, but it's because of how you want to look in terms of the cameras and the media, it puts everybody else in a situation of suffering for mm-hmm. the sake of this look. Now, I think that it's changed now. But in the height of it, I was very upset about it because, like, people were going crazy. I mean, you had people that were committing suicide that were not even throwing themselves overboard to the side of the water. They were jumping. They were jumping off to the pavement. I mean, this was like a huge mental impact for the sake of what looks better in terms of the camera and the company and its life. Well, I, I, you know, just to just to give a little pushback on that, it's. I, I don't know that it's fair to say that it's all 100% just to make it look better. Because, well, of course. you I know, mean, it's, like, it's you, you, look, you look at the numbers and there are people who are dying from coronavirus. We already know that cruise ships are, like, X amount uh, more cautious when it comes to diseases yeah yeah you know what oh i mean God, it's like anybody that, you yeah. talk to yeah. red level two you talk wow. to anybody about gi yeah. on the <laughs> end they're just like what the fuck is that yeah they don't even know yeah. what that's like and then exactly. they're like let me tell you you're holding a bucket and you're sitting on a toilet and it doesn't stop exactly. you're washing everybody's <laughs> so hands. how do you expect the cruise ship is supposed to react when you know like you see out here mm. like los angeles and they're quarantining people well, what is a cruise ship going to do, mm-hmm. right? And this isn't to say that this the, the, what the cruise ship is, is doing is the right path, but it does, in my eyes, make sense. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And in terms of how people are handling it, I understand that it's not an easy thing for people to handle. Yeah. And I'm not so saying I that I- hope they're getting the communication that they yeah. need so right. they can like reach out to I people. I feel like that's, that's yeah. the thing that, the, they, need to be able the to, they need to be able to speak to people that yeah. are not on that ship. Yeah. Because right. also to add to that, the reason why, maybe not all of the ship, but more of like why they were quarantined and why they were making do this stuff is because the country or that port where those people were is being affected by the virus. It's required to have a log mm-hmm. of you every day checking yourself in or you every day, the temperatures, how many days you quarantine, if you have fevers or not. So they, once you disembark, they take notice of that. They, and then, you know, they do the whatever they do after you um, disembark. Yeah, there's so to give a little bit more, um, uh, anyway, there, there was an article. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I can't think properly anymore. What? What do you say? I don't know, I got a little, there was I got an article a little passionate there. That talked about, um, like 12,000 Americans being trapped on cruise ships. But in this same article, Wait, they were 12,000 Americans crew or guests crew. crew. Okay. 12,000 crew being trapped on cruise ships. Mm-hmm. Right. And we've talked Globally, about this. Yeah. Not even well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and anyway, but in this same article, they were saying, but we also don't know how many of these, this crew is essential. Right. Meaning, how many of this, how many Americans are still on cruise ships that need to keep the cruise ship running? Mm, got it. Uh, right? So, how can you call somebody trapped if you're paying them and they need to be on the cruise ship because they need to keep the engines running? Yeah. They need to, you know, clean mm. the cruise ship. They need to be on the bridge. Which means they're still getting paid. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. More often than not, though, I mean, those positions are not usually U.S. People citizens. From the United- yeah. Yeah. I mean, to to push back on that, but I understand right. where it's coming from. Right. I had a conversation with a friend of mine. I won't go into the story as to <laughs> between him and I. Sure. Oh my God. But anyways, 
And this was a moment like earlier in the pandemic that was very illuminating to me mm. because I was very hard pressed on like these crew. This was, this happened in March, right? It was oh, like in wow. April, May time because I, I've okay. always had right in the height of the pandemic. Yeah, I have a very big soft spot for crew members because I feel like we are always the last ones. Crew members to me always feel like the dogs of a ship. If there's yeah. a position that could be lower, they will put the crew member there and they'll put anybody else. Yeah. And if anybody wants to join a ship, you need to accept that. Yeah. You will be considered that no matter how you dice it. Other people might be nicer about it, but generally accept this and you'll have a life that you'll understand a little, a little better in that. But what I'm saying is that like crew members often get the shortest end of a stick. And then if you're on a ship, you understand how dynamics goes and you can see how that can further be divided. But I was very upset to see how crew members were being treated and all this, why all these guests got to go home by their countries, but then the ships, or sorry, not the ships. It, it wasn't even exactly the ships, it's the countries. Crew members though, no, are not allowed to because they're the ones that are a problem. Somebody has to take a rap and it's always the crew members that have to take a rap. Yeah. I'm not happy about that. I'm very passionate about it. Uh, I hated it all the time working on the ship. And well, give me a little bit more detail in terms of the crew members always have to take a, a rap. Like, yeah, do you have an experience of when you took the rap from like a custom official or something for being a crew member? Because that's what you're saying, right? Being a oh, crew member, like passing the Goodness gracious, stuff. man. If you want to talk about customs, they look at you way differently than they look at a guest. Like how so? What did you... Experience? They look at you like you got something wrong about you. You've done it enough times. To, well, you as a U.S. citizen and you look like you can pass for U.S. citizen, it's probably a, li so. a little <laughs> bit different of an experience I for you. I am a U.S. citizen, so I hope but I can pass. But up until, <laughs> like, I get a certain kind of attitude up until I show the passport that I have and yeah. then it lightens up. Yeah. And then I have to talk a certain way for it to be, you know, but that's like involving other kinds of things, of course. But I feel like crew members in general... They always say first the guests, then the crew, obviously because guests bring money yeah. in and crew members cost right. money. I get business. I understand why it's that way, but I do feel like sometimes it gets kind of pushed and crew members end up having a, like the lower end of things because even out in port, I feel like uh, there have been times where I've been treated differently and in a worse way because as a crew member, even if I'm being they know ships in and they know your crew. And yeah. And even if I'm guests. paying the same price as a guest, I feel like just in general, more often than not. How do you not, know it's a crew thing versus a, a prejudice thing? I've been around, well, I've had conversations with guests as well as I've had times where someone would visit me. And they experience everything as a guest and I experience it as a crew. Or even when the time I visited somebody and I was a guest and just saw the differences, man. It just feels different if you're a crew member versus a guest on all sides, whether it be on the ship or in the port. And the, the side of the port is more telling to me because they're not attached to the ship. But they'll still like treat you differently if they know you're a crew member or you're a guest. They'll charge you more. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was all the way around for me. Mm -hmm. My experience in ports. Yeah. Like, they used to treat uh, crew members crew a lot better, better yeah. than I would be able to get like guests, discounts. So now I'm wondering if it was a woman thing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? My yeah. Well. According, better. according yeah. to us ladies here, you know. <laughs> well, I mean. You got a free ice cream. Yeah. Well, okay. I got, I got you a free ice cream in Kushigasi. Yeah, sure. One right. instance of getting a free ice cream. Oh my goodness gracious. But I will say that they were trying to like they they were trying to charge me an arm and a leg in Manila. Oh, in Manila? Yeah. interesting. Yeah, I went in Manila. We How we went that in a port. for you because you look Filipino. Yeah. 
Oh, you but they know talking? you're not. Well, do I? <laughs> you <started talking laughs> you I look like it, you but you know. as soon as I open my mouth, I'm not Filipino anymore. Yeah. Uh-huh. But anyway, I know coming, going back from Mall of Asia to the ship, it's like five dollars. Mm. Mm. Going from the port to Manila, any one of those people, any one of those uh, taxi drivers, they're going to charge me forty dollars. Oh. Goodness gracious. Yeah. And you Filipino know, Filipino uh, prices, 40 bucks. Well, that's right. That's a lot. For transportation, I feel like it's a little bit different though. Because, like, in Mexico, like, when I was doing the whole thing, I got, mm-hmm. uh, I got to the airport and I that I had to do, like, a change of, uh, uh, building areas. So mm-hmm. they had to drive me or transfer me or something. Yeah. 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 So the taxi driver drew me over there. It was 20 bucks. And then it turns out my gate wasn't there, so uh-huh. I have to come back. And the way back, and he, the taxi driver, told me that it's going to be thirty bucks. And even though I see because you needed it, yeah, you need it, but your Spanish sounds different, though. You don't I sound that, like, but you know, like you don't speak Mexican. Wait. Well, no, her accent is not Mexican Spanish. Yeah, they, I get it. They, they know, you just so said away. I, I yeah, away. <laughs> like, uh, just said away a bunch of times. <laughs> well, yeah. I get what you're saying because of my experience in Cuba. Yeah. When I was in Cuba, because uh, I have family there, and I when I because we were always going back to Cuba because I was on the CDN at that time. So I was like before they shut off all things to Cuba. I'd visit my family and I had to learn a lot from them. They told me, these are the things you need to change because this is how they know you're a U.S. citizen. Mm. I changed them all and then life for me completely changed altogether. What wow. Were they? Can you tell? For one, shoes. Oh. Don't wear sandals. Don't wear shoes. Oh. <laughs> no, wear <laughs> shoes, but don't wear sandals. Why? Because sandals are the biggest indication that you are Yuma, which is what they call like the tourists. It says that you're not from there. You can pass maybe by looks, but your outfit is a, is a big part of it. But the biggest tell yeah, is I if you're wearing sandals. Like white sneakers. Nope. It's sandals. <laughs> Don't you wear, can wear white sneakers. So I started dressing differently in clothes that I had already, but carrying myself differently. And I was treated very differently. Yeah. No one bothered me. They gave me great rates because I'd go up to them. They say the cost yeah. before I spoke. When I spoke, they knew I wasn't from there because yeah. although I'm Cuban, I wasn't raised in Havana for yeah. 30 years. I yeah. don't have their accent. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but then when I started taking some of my friends off the ship, like I remember one friend of mine and it was a great time that we had together. Great friend of mine. Uh, he's, he's really cool. Actually, I don't know if Is I can me? name him. Huh? Yeah. I never took you to <laughs> Havana. I took him out. Yeah, 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 for the story, yeah. Yeah, you're this like really tall singer, super on fire gay guy. That's me. Fun character. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's a super cool guy. I love the guy. Keep going. That's me. Uh, He seems like he's doing really great. I'm happy for him. Him and his boyfriend. I I was on that contract when they met. It was it's really cool. But anyways, I took him out. And then I remember when we got the bill, I was like, damn it, man. They charged us more because they saw you. But uh, if it was just me yeah, before I opened cheaper, my mouth, yeah. it would have been way cheaper. But then, you know, comes this white boy wearing a bandana on his head, yeah. looking super like flamboyant. Well, he didn't look that flamboyant, but I'm just making a joke. If he sees us, I'm going to point at him and laugh at him. But, um, I won't name him for his own safety. <laughs> Not that that even matters. But, um, but you know, like, it changes. Yeah. I did everything I could to blend in, and I did blend in until I speak. He comes along with me, all life changes. I'm like, damn it, man, I can't get anything yeah, at a good right. price anymore because of you. So then at that point, jumping on what you said, do you think it was because you were a crew member or just because you weren't from about it? At that point, it was because it looked like I was a guest. Okay. But that's also like being Cuban and seeing what life is like there. Mm-hmm. 
I get why it happens. People are trying to make their buck where they can and they charge locals a different rate. Mm -hmm. I wasn't actually upset about it, but I just definitely noticed a difference because even walking around with him throughout all the streets of Havana, we were looked at very differently, mm -hmm. treated very differently. And it wasn't even like we were walking close to each other to look like we were a couple or anything. Just the fact that I was walking with him within three feet of him and it looked like we were walking somewhere together. Different experience all around. So everything changes mm -hmm. according to who you're around and what you look like. Are you saying that it was it, it was a lot of, about his flamboyance or just because it definitely he adds to it. Mm -hmm. It definitely adds to it because... He, the, in Cuba, it goes from black as night to white as day. Sure. Because it's a part of the slave trade. Yeah. It's the same as the U.S. You have everybody in between without getting into all of the things in between of all that. Um, they are, it, it's an array of color. Yeah. But still, you can tell when somebody's not from there. And when you get like somebody who's definitely looking like they've been doing musical theater for a large portion of their life. Sure who definitely are are gay dudes I mean, who have been doing musical theater. Here, that, like, there's a general look about yeah. that. While I'm not saying he is that look, he looks enough like it to where sure. he does not blend in with anybody yeah. else. Yeah. So I could not get deals on anything walking around with him. I was like, mm -hmm. dude. Was he wearing sandals? <laughs> At that point with how he looked, it didn't matter if he was wearing sandals or not. And I love the guy. I, I he's he's a super cool guy. But I I told him. But like, he ruined everything for you. I told That's him like, you're dude, saying. you're killing all prices for <laughs> me, man. I can't negotiate anything around <laughs> with you. Around. No, but we did have a great time. Like we went deep into to Havana. We went to the point where even tourist prices were something reasonable because mm -hmm. we were so deep. He would say, I would like one pollo frito, please. You made it all the way here? All right. <laughs> yeah. To like, so the point where like, we didn't even have glasses. They were, uh, they were like sawed off and sanded glasses of old beer bottles. Oh yeah. yeah. They were like been peeled so that they don't have anything. Get so like, pissed. I was like, we're going to have good rum. This looks pretty messed up and pretty rugged. So let's do it here. It was a great time. It was a really great time. Super, super cool guy. Well, we're going to, we're going to, we're actually going to cut the podcast off now. But again, thank you guys for watching. For those, for, for the th three people who are watching now, mm -hmm. thank you so yeah. much. Um, again, for watching the Ship Life TV podcast. Podcast. <clears throat> podcast. Redo. Pod, Redo. Podcast. There you go. The show that is dedicated to raising awareness of the opportunity of raising awareness. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> raising awareness of the opportunity of so working much. on cruise ships, helping new and existing crew have mm. an enjoyable experience. Mm. Uh, we've been drinking way too much. You've been drinking. Um, yeah. You've been drinking goblets. Water. Dude. One glass of wine. We've been yeah, drinking just on, enough. Yeah, you're still on the one that I poured from earlier. Anyway, so like, thank you guys. If you guys are enjoying this show, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more episodes, just hit it. Just like this from people like us. Probably not that hard because hit that like button. Because uh, it helps more than you know. Yeah, just break